All righty, gentlemen. Um, did you guys rest at the end of the last one? I did. Someone go back and check that. I know we didn't. Okay. Would you guys like to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Yet six hours left. Um, but we could have died, right? Yep. Yeah. So did the spiders. Yeah, I already killed them, but she was just a sleepy sleep instead of dead. Uh, all right, I'll uh, I'll watch. Weren't you at Weren't you at watch when she attacked in the first place? So yeah, your watch so Your watch is watching. done. Okay. It's, I mean, if you want to, you've already, you've already been awake two wait. hours, and each shift is two hours, right? So uh, I think we we're doing it in. Twos. So yeah, we're gonna so. let the spellcasters get completely healed, but Dragonia and I were gonna switch, but like I don't think I get fatigued. So I can just keep going. Is that I see I remember looking this up and I don't know if it's fatigue from sleep counts. Endurance. Yeah. Um <laughs> crap I I forgot to put Pathfinder and was getting actual articles about uh, endurance and fatigue. Because, you know, Google knows I'm a med person. Um, well, there's no official ruling on it. All right, well, if it says you're good, then. Yeah, I'll just keep watch and let everyone rest. It says you may sleep in light or medium armor without becoming fatigued, right? Is that what it says for you? Yep. Well, I think, that, I think that's saying... Normally, oh, if you sleep in any armor, you, you get fatigued for sleeping in armor. But this is saying you can sleep in armor and not become fatigued. But you still need sleep. Mm, okay. I don't think you're just immune from that. Yeah, because normally a character without this feat who sleeps in medium or heavy armor is fatigued the next day. So you may sleep in light or medium armor without becoming fatigued. Okay. Okay. We can make it so that way you're. Like, I'll make it so that way you're more like, resistant to like fit sleep fatigue, because you're just used to hunting for long periods of time and things like that. But uh, I'm not gonna make you immune because that's ridiculous. Like you're not gonna be able for six days straight. Be like, I'm fine. <laughs> just tweaking out. Oh, I forgot about the okay. spaghetti balls. Okay. Um. All right. So where do you guys want to sleep at? Under the tree. Like. Any preference? Tree's fine. How romantic. Should get Kelly Clarkson underneath the tree, even though it's a Christmas song. Someone I could think of that had to do with the tree. Okay, so we'll so, just we'll just say that y'all sleep and nothing else happens through the rest of the night. Because that's work for me, and I don't want to do that. So everyone wakes up. Everyone wakes up refreshed. Spells are all back. HP's healed up. I think you guys may have done that. Um, it's equal to W level plus your con mod. And then we can you said we can adjust our con back to it's a one per day, right? Yes, you get one point back per day. I think I already did that because I'm at negative one now. Well, I can tell you right now that. Um, who has the uh, the two halves of the stone? Oh, I guess um, Umlo did. Because um, I brought you here. Okay, so... Um, how do you guys... Oh, yeah, you okay, guys, guys... Did you guys find a map in Red Lake Fort? I thought we did. Okay, so you're following that. Because uh, the stone brought you here, but now... You're done with here, so you need to keep going. Yes. So, um, so you guys are heading um, to the gathering yeah. point that was mentioned in that letter. 
Um, it's located at the base hey. of the Mindspin Mountains, and especially like in the in the valleys there. It's called Minderhall's Valley specifically. Um, so that's the valley you're heading to. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to know the name or not, but it doesn't matter. It's just called Minderhall's Valley. So. Okay, so that is a three-day journey by foot. So you guys are going to heal back three days worth of HP, three days worth of con damage, all that jazz. Oh. So. Oh, hooray. Yep, I told you, if you're not full health, you will be there. Um, Dragonia can help heal any extra con damage you guys have during those three days because your spells are reset. Um, it's a 40-mile walk, wow. and I already did the rolls at the end of last week in terms of random encounters, and um, you sadly didn't get one, which is kind of disappointing. Because um, I had one drawn up, but it is what it is. Okay. So, you guys are... The journey to the valley is like four days. So you're three days in. So we're coming in like a day's journey. So we're just kind of go through the last day's walk together as you guys are getting kind of closer. You know, the mounts are starting to come into view. The uh, the horizon's getting higher and higher and higher. Point where you have to look up to see it. Things like that. Okay, so you guys are uh, you guys are pretty far into this, and um, as you're walking along, I need everyone to roll a perception check for me. This is all gonna be th theater of the mind because I said a lot of role play today. It will be to 19. I don't see Dragonia. <laughs> Classic. You have plus 9 to perception and you still roll terribly. <laughs> okay, so um, it wasn't a very high DC. It's just you guys hear birds chirping. Um, you hear a stream that's nearby kind of uh, trickling down. It's making just a nice little like brook sound. There's water running. But, um, Orok, you notice, um, about a few hundred feet away, um, a little tip of smoke over the trees. Um, and it's kind of hard to see because the mount it's like the mountains are kind of in the background, so, like, you don't have the sky to see the smoke behind because the mountains are there. Um, but your sharp senses notice that there's some smoke coming. It's just past the stream on, on the right side about, I don't know, a couple hundred uh, feet away. So, what would you guys like to do? Com comrades, comrades, I feel we are not alone anymore. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Should we go encounter them? Is it on the way to where we need to be going? It is about two clicks to the right. Yeah, it's really a little it's a little off it's a little off the path. Um to cross the it's across the stream, so you'd have to like get off the path across the stream. But you don't know what the smoke's coming from or anything, you just see the wisp of smoke over there. I don't know, you guys feeling adventurous? I feel nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. All right. Uh, does anybody say no to this? We have two yeses so far. George says yes. All right. Does Dragonia have any apprehension to this? I'm apathetic towards it. I don't really care if we go or not. Okay. So three and a and a abstain. Abstain. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change your view so you guys scroll down a little bit. Actually, it's the, the stream's on the right, but the smoke's on the left. My bad. It's been a, a hot minute since I've uh, seen and drawn this. <laughs> so, Can so you get a, um, um, what? No, what? a no, what? perception or... Do yeah. you do perception or survival for like tracks or yeah, you know, absolutely. imagings? 
Is survival or Sick. perception better? Um, it depends. It's, it's, perception will kind of like look you up more, like a horizon um, towards the ground would be um, survival. Okay, I'll do survival then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that actually, uh, you get you do see a couple things with the survival check. That finally, we can use these. Um, you notice several huge impressions. Like, these look like large footprints, like impressions rummaging about the ground here. <clears throat> They're kind of running around in kind of a hectic manner. Um, but with the 27, you also notice some drag marks that are smaller. You can tell they're drag marks. Like something's being dragged. You don't know what it is. You just see that there's drag marks. Comrades, I feel like there is uh, a camp of uh, either some uh, men or some orcs or something. And it looks like they dragged like a prisoner along the ground. Or maybe it's a tail. I don't know if anyone else would like to take a, ch a look. But it looks like we might be in for some trouble. Castle, I don't have any survival skills. <laughs> Fair. Let's see if I do. No, I wasn't really trained in the. Uh... You can also just do a perception, though. Like. Yeah, I mean, you guys can just do a perception to see what what that's going on around here. Yes, I can see with my eyes. <laughs> can you though? Oh my oh, god! Yeah, oh yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. Suck my left. <laughs> All right, you see quite a bit because it's daylight. Dragonia, yeah. I feel like you finally just woken up for the first time ever. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, well, I had to flash my tits out for a second. Okay. That's how that works. <laughs> so, um, just for the record, this thing right here is the edge of a cottage. So I'm going to read you a little thing here. This is a well. Um, a small clearing a few hundred feet from the stream, a wisp of smoke trickles from the chimney of a two-story stone cottage. Its front door has been bashed inward, its splintered panels hanging crookedly from a single hinge, which is in the front, which you guys haven't gotten to yet, but spoilers. Several large chips mar the exterior stonework, and a sizable hole has been torn in the thatched roof. Loud crashing noises come from within. Do you guys hear this loud banging sound, crashing sound from inside? Um, is here, it like a I'm, constant kind of like attention bang, or is it like people getting chucked against walls and stuff, like fighting? Um, what was your perception score? Six. You, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. um, Jagonia and Orc, is that 27 also? The perception, or is that, that's, is that the survival? That's the survival. Okay. That's the survival. All right, so Jagonia, you... Uh, you can hear that it sounds like rummaging more so than combat. So uh, that door, that wooden thing, is a door that's it's cracked. Does it look like fresh? Like someone that like gets actively just gotten broken into? I mean, they're um, rummaging inside, so yes, right. The track I mean, could just be. Yeah, his survival, his survival check. You'd know how fresh the tracks are. They look pretty fresh. Okay. You're not sure how fresh, but probably within a day or two. Okay. I mean, people could just see an abandoned house and just look, go through it. Yeah, but this looks or they like could break in and act actively steal. It's within forty-eight hours, so very recent. But yeah, you do hear rummaging coming from inside. What do you guys want to do? How do you guys feel about meddling in other people's business? I feel we do it all the time. <laughs> do we? I don't really know what we do. <laughs> I don't either. This makes my job fun. We're just kind of going. I say we check it out. Well, I mean, right. we already went over here. We're not going to go over here and then not check it out. I mean, you don't have to. Could be dangerous. I want to book three metal my iron fist up someone's ass. So. It's true. You now have the full power bonus now because it's been 24 hours. Well, lead the, lead the way, Dragonia, so you can jam said thing up someone's ass. <laughs> Get to jamming. I think I'm very stealthy, but I'll do it. You're going to roll a stealth check? 
as you approach. It really, it really matters if I do or not. Hold on. Give me just a second. I'm going to roll a perception to, to uh, go against it. I mean, there's no reason not to. You're going to be loud. If you don't, you're going to be loud if you roll low. Oh, I do have... do have this cool thing that I got after I got uh, my power attack. Could, could do that. What is it? It's cool called stunning, stunning Eruption. It means I bust open a door and then everybody gets like stunned and shocked and then they don't get to attack and then I get to attack like four times. Uh, I don't Sounds think it, I don't think it's that good, but uh, the door is already broken open and uh, hanging currently on the floor. Well, um, can you the other part of it the is door and throw it in there. Yes, hanging from a single <laughs> hand. Chuck the door. Yeah, chuck the door right at him. So the the doorway is right here. It's a it's actually a French <clears throat> door. <I> <clears throat> Anyways, you go through um, a window. I can. It's a window or uh, something else. <laughs> open door and you jump through a window. Um, sure. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll stealth. What do you want me to do? Is 20 feet at a time? Um, no, well, just give me a stealth roll. And we'll, I'm just going to use that against my perception check that I just rolled, and we'll, we'll just move you all the way up to the house. All right, what's your total? Um, uh, 10. Okay. Is anybody else going to go up with Dragonia? I'll roll stealth with him. Okay. 22. Okay. Anybody else? Anyone else hanging back? Yeah, I'll stay back here. Is Gore coming along or is he chilling? Gore will stay with uh, Sick and Tricks and Kabor. Okay. But he finally got a taste of blood last time. He he did. But he has to protect Kabor. He has to protect Kabor. All right, are, you giving him, are you giving him orders to uh, guard Kabor? Yep. Okay. Kabor. Uh, guard, guard Kabor. Uh, Gore notices how warm Kabor is, so he immediately grabs him, drags him into the the river that's right there to try to, to try to cool him down. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just kidding. He doesn't do that, but that'd be cool. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and move up to the door wherever you want to go, but you guys can move up freely. Jesus, I know you guys are going that far. If you guys want to fall behind, you guys can roll. I want to get closer if they're going that far. Yeah, if you can, get, you can go all the way up to like the well and be like fine, I guess. I'm gonna grow it too. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So this door is hanging open, so I can go ahead and, if you guys want to roll a perception check, I can kind of reveal what's in here. It's a dragon. You got a five and you ended up with an eighteen. That means you got yeah. thirteen. That's what happens. Okay, so you go to notice a room. It's just like a main lobby. What? It looks trashed. Um, a room inside of a house. I know, right? <laughs> Crazy. It's like a front, like it's like a front living area. Um, oh yay! Yeah. Um, this cabin's here. I'll go ahead and reveal the rest of the outside of the cabin, because at least the front half, because that doesn't matter. Um, wait, I screwed up. Whew, that could have been bad. Could have revealed the whole house. Man, that would have been, I was doing it backwards. Could have been uh, tragic. Okay, or amazing. <laughs> just depending on your perspective. Uh, I disagree. Okay. Attention. So, it's it looks smashed up. You can see boards are kind of like, like the ground's kind of dirt, but like you can see the footprints from earlier, just like all about in here. It's like chaos. Things are smashed everywhere. Um, go ahead and roll another survival check for me, um, Orak. Yeah, I was going to ask you if I could. Yeah. Okay, um, you notice multiple drag marks coming out of here. This way, too. See if there's any survival marks going this way. Do you want me? To, can I? Do I have to roll for that? Too? No, no, no. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll carry that. Around. It's like you're just doing like a 360 scope because there's no facing in Pathfinder, remember? So I don't know, technically know which direction you're facing. So 
Gotcha. Okay. Can you see my arrow? Yep. Okay, yes. The drag marks are coming out. Um, so the way to the back to the main path is this way. And, like, this way is towards the mountain. Um, but there's a path going this way, too. And you see drag marks going both directions. But you can't tell if they're, like, the, the drag marks are, like, going this way. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just, they're drag marks. So I guess I'll ask, um, is the dust settled? Or is it, like, there's still, like, particles still in the air? Like, it's still, like, someone just walked through there and it hasn't completely gone back to the earth yet? Like, kind of thing. Um, it's, it's settled. It's completely settled? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any, like... Um, I wouldn't say completely. I say there's still like a haze in the air, but it's very a light. Haze, okay. Yeah, so it's it's what pretty recent, like, but it's not like. Is there any like water on the floor? Or any like a liquid? Like, did they? Uh, have, no like, mud. A... Yeah, no mud that you can tell. So no mud pattern or yeah, anything. They didn't okay. arise from water. I know Aura could be scared. I just about didn't that. know if they like knocked something over and then like they dragged like whatever they were dragging like it pulled through the the wetness kind of thing. Yeah. And gave a clearer path of what was going on. I mean, that's good. That's a good, good point. Yeah. No, um, all dry drags. All dry. Okay. Yep. Big, <sighs> deep drags. It is 420. <laughs> that's why I did it. <laughs> Seen so many Check videos. Going, yeah, I feel today. like, I feel like they took, it's either like a club that's very heavy. That's on the ground. That they're pulling around, or they took bodies with them. Either or, though. It seems too heavy to carry over shoulder. Does Dragonia respond to that? Spawn the room. You just want to go. <laughs> she, she, she's just focused. Okay. <laughs> she's laser focused. I mean, okay. What do you want to do? Do you want to go around? We can go in the room. That's fine. Looks like there's two doors, one to the left and one to the right. That is correct. I mean, hold on. Before we so, go, we can swing around to the back, or we can, you know, we know people are in here for a fact. Well, we someone that. had a perception check. I just can't tell if the perception would be from the house or it would be from, like, over here. You know what I mean? Like, they're looking this way. To us, or are they looking like this way? Well, you heard rustling inside. It's a two-story house, too. Right. That's what I was trying to. They're probably it's a cottage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Dragonia. I say we go to one of the doorways. I will watch the back, and you go through the front, since you have a higher armor score. Are these doors open. Yeah, they they open. Closed. They're, oh, they're, they are closed, but they can open. They're not locked. Well, I can stunning eruption this shit. I'm going to look this up. Cause, uh, it sounds and it's quite loud, though. It is indeed. Can I do a perception oh. check for traps or snares or anything? Yeah. Or wall. I R R U P P I O N. You have to make a fortitude save. Oh, that's nuts. Wow, this. You can go through a wall, too. Yeah, it says door, window, or wall. <laughs> you can literally be the Kool Aid man. <laughs> Punch through the wall. That's so cool. This is sick. I figured since I'm already not stealthy, why not embrace it? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is cool. cool. It's very fitting of her character, too. It has to be before combat, though. So you'd have Dude, to... That's what I'm saying. If we're not in combat, I'm gonna punch kick in the door. Open yeah, the kick door. in the door. So yeah, it's just yeah. feet. So you can just do it whenever. Yeah. So you. But I think doing it once might alert the people and start combat. Right. So you essentially have to know that they're there, like behind the wall, like behind yeah. the door, like you guys did within that's... Red Lake Ford. There's two doors though. That's why we have Warrock who can sense Stealth. things. He stealth Stealth perception. Man sees everything and then I go fluff bam oh yeah <laughs> you gotta paint your armor red now <laughs> all right big big black smiley face it. on it 
All right. Are you going to stealth in and check that door? Is that what that 28 yeah, was? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to the right, or the left, sorry. So you can watch the right side, and I'll go to the left. So I want to do a sneak and peek, Josh. Sneak and peek? All right, give me a sneak. sneak. All right, give me a peek. And here's my peek. Okay. So the sneaky, sneak was pretty sneaky. The peek was just kind of peaky. Um... But you do see a long hallway. Nobody's in there, though. Okay. How high are the roof or the ceiling? Pretty short, like eight Could feet, Mario? nine, like ten feet. You know, standard. Could she Mario? Bidding. Um. No, because she's wearing armor. She can't jump that high. I'll find a big chair. I think there's a lot of shattered stuff. Are you going to sneak and peek this? Oh, yeah. All right, give me a sneak. Okay, give me a peek. Oh, that's a good peek. Okay, so on this side, you see a... What is that? By unlocking something. I was rubbing the mic. Oh, okay. Um, you see a very large room. Oh, Ooh. sorry, I forgot. It's just a fireplace. Um, but Orok, um, as you open this door and peek in, can you uh, can you give me a reflex save, please? Uh, oh, I can't wait. Should have checked for traps. I thought I did. Do I have to check every door? I didn't hear you say check this door. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, you could say I check all the doors in the room just as a blanket statement. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're, a failure. you're dead. Okay. Uh, Hope you have a backup character. <laughs> uh. Um... Wow. Okay, so uh, as uh, as you peek through this door, um, the door kind of like swings open closely, and you're like pushing the door, and you're looking you, like you stick your head in, you know, to kind of like see around the room. And as you're pushing the door to stick your head in around the room, you notice the door stops prematurely, and you're like, "Wait, what is that?" And then all of a sudden, you hear a huge crashing sound as the door is destroyed, and a green claw comes slashing through the door and smacks into you. For let's see, woo! For twelve points of damage, and I need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh, you, my you don't even know what hit you yet. I should have just busted it open. Show what it could have didn't. Is it everybody in the room? Oh, uh, everyone within 20 feet. So what? I don't think you would hit anybody. Okay. Um. So for totals, uh, Sigatrix. 18. Pretty good. I don't think you've ever rolled below a 10 in your life, though, because your bonus is so <laughs> high. Um, Dragonia. 15, it looks like. 15, okay. 15. Um, Kabor. 22. 22. That is one fast fire mage. Holy smokes. OG. 17. 17? Okay, um... I forgot to roll mine, so. <laughs> Pardon moi. One second. I'm going to look up the stats here. A giant green claw. I'm so excited. Giant green claw. Um, Kabor, what's your bonus? Looks like six. Okay. That uh, beats my bonus. Okay, so that was a pseudo surprise round. 
Um, I gave you so the so whatever's in here knew you were coming because of the bad stealth rolls earlier. So it prepped. So instead of a surprise round, I did I gave you a reflex save like a trap um, instead. I think figured that'd be more flavorful. So there's not gonna be a surprise round. We already had that. Um, so that wasn't a trap. That was a spell. It was a it was an attack. Oh. Cause I rolled to hit and I I hit. Um, but I was going to have a reflex to see if Orak pulled out in time before the hit actually went through it. I was just going to say that was like, you know, it so missed. Pull, so it seems like it's a lizard or like a it's dragon. A of dragon. Some kind. It's got a green well, claw. So it's, it's pulling the tail. Well, it's got a green claw and it's pulling its tail as like a drag mark. So. All right. So, uh. Crocodile, maybe. So Orak got hit in the head, in the head here since that's what he peeked through with. So he hasn't seen what this thing is yet. You just know. There's at least one thing in here, and no one else can see it yet. Um, is he prone? Did he get knocked down? No. Yeah. No, no. That, that would I mean, have been... He did roll a one. <laughs> oh, he did roll a one. Thanks for bringing it up. Hey, um, go ahead and roll a d20 for me, Andrew. Oh, thank God, Scott. Oh, <laughs> thank I mean, you. Oh. Keep the game honest. How about you... Uh, you eat dirt. Go ahead and uh, get on the ground, bud. But uh, if you get hit, you need to like move back five feet. You can crawl. Um, what's a good prone one? Here it is. You prone. Move yourself back five feet. Uh, no, he got punched straight down because the claw came from behind the door and just poof. so he's right there. This is book three. I'm not giving you any niceties. All right. Um, Kabor, you're up first. You are Speedy Gonzalez. No idea what's going on. I might hear like a smashing of stuff. Uh, the door like got broken open, right? So you probably heard heard that. Here's the order. Come on, what are you doing? You move. Yeah. Uh, okay. Looks like some of the shadow artifacts over there. Go ahead and get rid of that. What would you like to do? Because you, you, you can't see. No one can see what's in there yet. Because it's hiding. He's running. It's behind the wall. So it it would be right here. Like in this area. Which no one can see yet. Anything else you want to do? Oh. You done? That's it. Okay. That's major armor or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are in combat. You got a mage armor up, Jard? Prepare mage armor. Okay, I didn't hear that. Uh, I put it on push to talk. Oh, okay. Uh, Just so we'd stop echoing. Prepare mage armor. Oh, yeah, that could came clear as a whistle. All right. Good. Nice. Mage armored. All right, it's this it's it's ugh, it is this thing's turn. Um it is going to lumber into view. Um it's just going to take a 5 foot step, so you guys going to be able to see the corner of it. Oh yeah. And what it, is it? I don't know. That requires a knowledge check. Well, can you, can, can you enlarge it? Oh, yeah. I can do the special little thingy I did. Okay, I got to remember what. Oh, my, wow. Uh, is that a tree that it's carrying around? I Shocker. think it's this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Looks like a, is that a water troll? Lizard troll? Is it reptilian? That all requires knowledge checks. 
Um, and it is going to attack the prone uh, Orok, and it gets plus four to hit because you're prone. You essentially get minus oh, 40 AC. Excellent. excellent. Um, and because it did a five-foot step, it can do a full full attack action. Now, it does not have the the wood thing you see in its hand currently. Um, it wasn't prepared quick enough. So I'm just going to do the standard bite claw claw. Okay. First attack. Just I'm going to say your AC is minus four right now, Andrew. Okay. Okay. Um, so 18 on the first hit. 17. Okay. Is that with the minus four at 17? Yep. Wow, you got a good AC. Okay, that was the bite. So you take... Ooh, 15 points of damage. Cool. Um, claw number one. Uh, 21, so that's a hit. Okay. And, ooh, not very good here. Um, nine points of damage. Okay. And claw number two. Man, this is taking forever to roll my dice. There we go. Oh, uh, 22. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay, and that's okay. Another nine points of damage. As this thing beats the ever living crap out of you. Um. Okie dokie. And it's uh, and then I'm gonna do something else real quick, and then uh, their turn's done. So, Sigatrix, you're up. All right. Let me go ahead. So I can definitely hear some commotion going on, right? Yeah. It, from your angle, it would be almost impossible to really see anything. You just hear a lot of, like... You'd hear the door shatter, and then you'd hear, like... Orox just, like, getting pounded, and he's trying to defend himself. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll have to... Well, I'm going to move Gore because he was on guard duty, so he's he's going to be with Kaborn. So he has less of a walk on Orox turn. Can I, like, go over here? Yeah. So what's your... It was double moving. Okay, yep. Now you can see it just fine. Would you like to... Sprint in there, look around, and then see that and run in the other door. <laughs> Like nope, <laughs> not that way. <laughs> not dealing with that. <laughs> bye bye. Turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Orok. You're up. Um. So I remember listening to the Glass Cannon podcast. You can do a, a full retreat, correct? Where you roll and then you go away and you can stand up. Correct? You need a. You need to be an acrobatics check. Otherwise, just stand you, up. I thought promote. you didn't have to do that. It, you can do. You can full retreat if, if you're standing. If you're standing, you're yeah. I think you have to do an acrobatics check. To roll, you have to do <laughs> an acrobatics really check. Looking that up right now, but I haven't finished reading. So, or you can just stand up and take an attack of opportunity, and then retreat or swing back. Some people are saying you have to like make it higher than their CMD. Some are saying just like a high acrobatic check. Okay. So if I roll the acrobatic check and I fail, I don't move, correct? Um could or like do, do, do they just do they just provoke? Uh, like, so I'm I trying I, that's the I yeah, I'm I think that's up to me. Yeah. So let's There's, talk about it. What what should, would you rather happen? Would you rather be able to move because you're you're rolling regardless? It's just one of them you weren't rolling fast enough, so you get hit. Another one you don't get hit. Or we can say you try to roll and and you notice that it, it's going to see you, so you like stop your roll because you failed. So I can see the logic in both ways. So uh, which would, would you like to do? That, like I would like to try and roll away. Okay, so if you fail, you just provoke. I mean, yeah. I okay. mean, I think that just makes sense, right? Yeah, that makes more sense to me too. But I was gonna, I was gonna let you decide. Unless you get a one, and then they hit, and you don't roll away. Sure, that sounds good. 
Shut up, Justin. <laughs> you just spoke it into existence, so fuck you. No, nah, it's um, all ones and zeros. You're good. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's whatever. All right, so here I'm gonna roll. Hey. Oh, twenty on my acrobatics. Okay, yeah. So you roll, you roll five feet. Fine. That way. Okay. Okay. Now, are you going to try to stand up here? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. You going to try to go again? Do I have to roll another acrobatics? Yes, you do. 11. Okay, that's not good enough. Um, so I'm going to take a penalty to this hit because you're farther away. Um, we'll say that because you're rolling. You're kind of hitting through a door, but you're hitting through a doorway too. Yeah, does you know reach I mean? matter if there's objects in the way? Walls and doors. like. Well, I'm, I'm thinking it's like against a door frame, like clawing out. Yeah. Um, that's why I say I'm going to give it a penalty because you're rolling on the ground. Okay. I'm going to give you partial cover because it's behind a wall. Um, natural two, so you're fine. Sick. So your turn ends, but you're you're far enough away. You're still prone, though, because that's two move actions. Okay. Does it have nice. to squeeze to get through a door? Yes, it does. Cool. So you're wondering, how did it get in there? Squeezed. <gasps> the hole in the roof. Okay. Um, does Gore want to do anything? Like get right up front and center, like right here? <laughs> no. You sure? How about it runs around and provokes attacks of opportunity <laughs> back and forth? <laughs> yeah. If Actually, you... it can't. You should be fine. You already did an attack of opportunity. That's true. Well, it, going into its space, actually, it's got reach. Well, I, I wouldn't say it would be able to reach this way. That's kind of jank. If it doesn't, you only get one attack of opportunity. Yeah, unless it's got surprised. combat Sick reflexes. Tricks. Sick of tricks, you did not do a knowledge check. I'm kind of disappointed. I almost said something about it. It's like, oh, do you want to do a check? And I was like, wait, he didn't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, someone who's like the, the, the guru. You could have reminded smart him. One. Yeah, you could have reminded me. He's got things like, to worry hey, about, too. This? Do you want me to wipe your ass too? I guess I can do that too. Do you want a knowledge yeah, check while it? You're at it. <laughs> oh, why don't you I do will... it? Yes. Can I uh, don't knowledge? Worry. Knowledge local. You don't have it. No. It's... <laughs> Shut up. It's knowledge, knowledge nature. nature. It's knowledge local. Knowledge... Is it really? It is knowledge local. You got that? No. <laughs> Shame. Clap. Geography, nature, uh, dungeoneering. The most important ones. Um, knowledge local. It is your turn, Drig. So, do you have knowledge local? What do you think? I'm a cleric. So? Clerics are bad Jesus. You could have knowledge religion and then be done with it. Not a knowledge religion. Hail Jeebus. I don't know where my marker went. Oh, there it is. So moving again. There's a double move action essentially for him to get out of there. Yeah, you'd have to. But now he can stand up freely. Okay. No one wants to go within <laughs> striking distance of this thing. <laughs> yeah, because I'm almost dead. So. Yeah, I did hit you for a gazillion damage. So. Should have rolled 50. a natty one. Oh, like, oh, I think it was almost 50 damage. Jesus. Yeah. Got to do my little uh little thing. There we go. That'll make sense later, everyone. Who's watching the VOD? Okay. Are you gonna do your knowledge check? I don't think he has knowledge local. Oh. Well you think I'm a cleric. <laughs> I don't think clerics have knowledge local. No, we don't. I was going to say, Dragonia probably doesn't even have knowledge religion as a cleric at this point. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Is helping help, help him up. Is that an action? Yeah, that's an action. Okay. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I you are now standing. Knowledge engineering and knowledge religion. Just okay. Suck me. Suck me. <laughs> um, round two. Cabor. You can see it. 
It's just clawing through the doorway, so you can definitely see it. Fireball. Hold on, he's... Cast Burning Art. There we go. Give me some gusto. Burning Art is... Yeah, but it's a... It's Isn't the it? most damage spell you can do without doing a fireball, which is a huge AOB and would set the house on fire. If you don't see the other enemy, does it still bounce? It does. Yes. Yep. Okay. So if we see it bounce, then there's another enemy in there. That is very true. Look at that. That's some knowledge right there. I uh, do get a reflex save for half. Holy no. Oh, sick. That is a lot of damage. I'll go ahead and do that reflex save here. <laughs> Natural 20. I wish. Um, where's my reflex at? What's the, what's the DC? Probably seventeen. What level spell is it? Two. So it would probably be ten plus two plus his wisdoms or his charisma or whatever. Yeah, his so charisma. Like his charisma is plus four because he got that belty oh, boy. I think probably sixteen. It might be plus one. Okay. Reflex for half. Yeah, I just don't, I just need to know. What, I, I have it on a Mine, sheet. Ten plus spell level plus int plus one. But I don't know where that plus one comes from. Might be a witch thing. Um, his sheet might have uh his save on it. I would get up, but I'm covered in books and a bunch of other crap. Because I'm 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 right on the cusp. That's why I need to know. I'm not gonna say my number because I don't want to influence it. I'm, le I'm reading it right now, and it's not giving me a whole lot. Should say DC save for. I guess I could look it up too, for sorcerer. Uh, um. Okay. Let's learn a spell. The difficulty class for a saving throw against a sorcerer's spell is ten plus the spell level plus the sorcerer's charisma modifier. So it's gonna be like sixteen. If so, I okay, I rolled a 16. That's why I'm asking. I got a 16 oh. exactly. So, the spell, it's a level 2 spell. It's level 2 and his charisma is like a 3. I think or, it's a 4. Uh, either way, that's a 16. So, okay. does that... Yes, yeah, so that means, that that? means uh, I exactly pass. Yeah. Okay. So there's I, no way he has right. 20... So I, so I still you know take I mean? yeah like, I still take thirteen damage. That's still he has seventeen charisma. Wait, he has seventeen charisma. Yeah, ten plus okay. level plus charisma. Yeah, but does he so have a belt has... that gives his charisma plus two? Is there a temporary modifier bonus in the temp slot? There's a there's a band a headband. Uh, temp is plus two. Yeah, so he has nineteen total. Yeah. Okay, so that's plus four. four. Man, one point away from plus five. Level eight though. You guys get another point. That's next level. Okay. Um, you guys listen for a bounce. You hear... No bounce. No bounce. Okay. It's now its turn. A fireplace and then bounces back on one thing. <laughs> yeah. That's not, that's not happening. Um, I am going to do a strength check. To try and punch down the wall. That is exactly correct. Doesn't have stunning eruption. <laughs> it does not. Um, natural three. So I fail that. So stuck. So stuck for. It tries. It tries to like. It tries to push through and it doesn't do it. So and then after that, it is going to withdraw northward, and you guys can no longer see it because it's out of your view. Well, that's interesting. Are we still in combat? Yep. Probably because it's going to get this. Thing. Yeah, it's probably going to stop burning and get its club. Or it's going to go around the corner and attack Cicatrix. Yeah, can I see around that corner at all? Not from where you're standing, but that is just a straight corner. Like, it just rounds out into that room. So there's no wall there. I'm assuming these are stairs. Um, Why in the world would you build this? I'll go ahead and... Here, let me reveal a little bit. So that's just like more room, like it's around the corner. 
What is this building layout? Can I like two go? ones? So if Kabor or Sigatrix wanna heal up Aura, that'll be good. Fine. Please <laughs> keep track of your charges though. I'll pop them with my uh Secure light wounds? Yep. So I think We're a D8. A D8. Plus one, so. Get four. Cool. Because it's a, it's a first level spell. Stops, so. the bleeding, stops the bleeding a little bit. All right. Um, OG, you're up. Uh, can I do a, a survival check to see, like, if I can hear where he's going? Absolutely. Uh, it, it, sa it sounds like he went, let me draw, up this way, and then you maybe ducked over here a little bit, like in a C shape. So, uh, so is this like a wall that's right here, Josh? Yep, that's a straight wall, the whole thing. Can I tap on it to see if it's hollow? Sure. Like if it's like a thin wall? Because what if he can punch through it, you know what I mean? Like, because he tried to punch through this door and wall area. So he could try and punch through right here. Man, right? wouldn't that be intelligent, going through and hitting you through a wall? Yeah, go ahead and knock. Okay. Just. Yep. Just uh, a little tap tap. Give me a perception check. Now you're going to alert it. So you knock and it sounds, it sounds decent. Like it's, it's, it's definitely um, like it, it seems to be like this house has obviously been kind of through a lot with the hole in the roof and stuff banged up, but this looks to be a load bearing wall and it's pretty solid. Okay, so he can't just punch right through it without repercussions, essentially, is what you're saying. Right. Okay. Cool. Um... I would... I'd like to cast... Um... I think I want to do Cat's Grace. Sure. All right. You want to send and Gore? I want, but I, no, I want to cast Dex. I want to cast it on. Um, Cicatrix? Cicatrix. Yep. Okay. So it's what? Plus two to Dex? Plus, plus four to his Dex. Oh, so plus two modifier to Dex. Ooh. Yep. That's nasty. Gladly take that. What do you do that sticks, requires dex? Range spells, AC, um, reflex saves. <clears throat> A lot. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, he can do more with two more decks than I can. So you're going to send... Uh... So send gore around the corner to uh yeah can i can i just have him actually go to this door and like sniff like and see it like if he can scent where he's at yeah sure precisely he's gonna go into the door or is he gonna be at the door edge like right here okay like he maybe he's peeking around this corner like is he peeking right i need here. i need a definitive answer okay he's right there okay like right here and he's trying to peek like this way yeah he doesn't see anything there, but he couldn't tell you no. anyways, even if he did. So, okay. I mean, we have a we have an unbreakable bond. Hi, right, Drig, things. you're up. Chance to know where we'd go around the other hallway. What do we think? Sure, it's your choice. That's what I was gonna do. So yeah, you can do that. your movement 20 yeah that's 20 right there five more feet and you can see around the corner 
Just a diagonal five footer. Just to see what's. See any toes hanging around the corner? Uh, no toes around the corner, but you can't see any more than I already have revealed. All right. So that'd be your second movement. Ooh. You can see a huge chunk into this room. I'll just reveal the whole thing. And you see it. Um, right here. And in its hand is, is, the club. is a crossbow. Whoa. And this is a big crossbow. Like a ballista crossbow? It's just, it's bigger than you guys could use, that's for sure. All right, Kabor, you're up. Round three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that five foot steps is second movement. I can still speak. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to say? I can still tell my team that he had now has a crossbow and is in the wall opposite to them. Okay. Or on the other side of them. Okay. It's very pertinent. Cause, so he doesn't have his club? No. So he's probably not going to bat the wall. Okay. Club is MIA. I'm also going to do a knowledge local. Yes. You don't have knowledge local. I think so you didn't <laughs> have knowledge local. Nice try. Okay. Kabor, you're up. Round three. All right, you can't see it from there. See me, or is he facing the other way? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's a double open double open doorway right there. Oops. I don't think there's no facing in Pathfinder. Yeah, there is no facing. Everyone's facing all directions at once. Everyone's omni -facing. So where do you have to go to see it? Like here? Um. Yep. Or well, the the brown is just, it's like countertop. So I guess diagonally in front of Scott to the right would be fine. But um, you can also go into the room on the right, and both those that both that way is completely open. So you just have to like completely open to get shot. Just run over here and see it just fine. You can see it from like right here. Yep. You were right here to start, so. Up in its face. Yeah, you can't use ranged weapons in melee range, right? You can. Uh, it, provokes. it provokes. Okay. So if we <laughs> we're, just, we're here... used to trials, <laughs> you can't shoot a bow in melee, melee range. Can so, I do a knowledge arcana check? You can, but it won't do anything. I need knowledge local. On what? That's it. So if you went here and then moved here, that would provoke, and he would not be. Um, it wouldn't provoke you. It can't take an attack of opportunity with its claw because it has a bow in its hand. But could he shoot with the bow in this range? Um, Within its reach, can it shoot its bow free of any penalty? It's within the opponent's um, range. So okay, Kabor so couldn't... Okay. Kabor, yeah, it could shoot. Kabor can't hit it from here, so that wouldn't okay. provoke. So it, it, would, it could shoot you without provoking, and you... Yeah. Okay. And then you'd have a giant bolt in your body. Wouldn't want that. Now, you can't see it from where you're standing. You have one spell that can wrap around corners. That's not Burning Arc. Because you have to see the primary target. But you have one spell where you don't even... I don't think you even think you have to have line of sight for it to work. Fireball? Well, yeah, so technically. Like diamond, diamond, diamond Dust or okay. whatever. Well, that, that too, right? but no. I was thinking of uh, Magic Missile. I think it homes. Can you just shoot that wherever? I think Magic Missile just homes in. Okay. 
let's see. Um, I have no idea. Yeah, it doesn't say. So I'm I'm pretty sure magic missile like locks on on and you can like use it around corners and stuff as long as you know where it's there. Cast magic missile. Okay. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go with that. Okay. Um, and I can't block this. This is energy damage. Do I have spell resistance? Okay. Um, so go ahead and. So there's four missiles. Was it one every two levels? Uh, four at seventh. Yeah, so, f yeah, roll 4d4. And then we'll add four to the end of that. 4d4 plus four? Yep. Holy crap. Uh, that, oh, my God. That added a plus one already, so plus three. So that's 17 damage. Wow, that is the best magic missile I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Where my Holy crap. Where did my marker go? Oh, there it is. Uh, How many spells do you need here? So it's second level and in... First level. First level. Yep. Justin, can you do a knowledge check, please? <laughs> you guys, you guys didn't remind him again, and I totally let it slide again. Well, it's behind I the know. wall. How was I supposed to knowledge check? It? You've already seen it. You saw it before. Wait, you just have to be able, have to have seen it. Yeah, because then once. it's in your head. Yeah, and you're like you going through your head. Once. I got photogenic memory. Yeah, it's been do. like six seconds. <laughs> you're not. You don't have Alzheimer's, like. <laughs> I definitely could not remember. Anything about a creature in six seconds. Local on it. Okay, it's it's turn. And I was denied my knowledge. You don't have knowledge, local Scott. <laughs> don't even. That doesn't mean I didn't attempt to use it. <laughs> no, fuck you. Go away. Um, I'm going to shoot my crossbow at Dragonia. Is that even really a crossbow? Yeah. Ballista. I mean, let's talk in reality. This is like artillery. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hit as nearly as hard as I want it to. Okay. One D4. Let's roll to hit here. Yeah, it's only a 17 to hit, so it doesn't even hit you. I miss. All right, uh, and then it has to, it has to uh, reload it, so. Is that just a move action to reload? It is. Hot. Or move five feet. Then it will reload it next turn. Nice. Got it. I forgot I moved it five feet, so. Because I want to make the shot clear so I didn't get a penalty. Um, right. Siki, you're up. I'll do a knowledge local, okay? Oh, thank God. Apparently, I could do that. You can indeed. Wait, I thought you didn't have knowledge local. It's 20. I got everything, dude. 20? Um, what would you like to know? Is it giant uh, subtype? Is it I Excuse me, did you roll the, <laughs> the save? What kind is it? What kind is it? Yeah. Like, what is it? Like, well, yeah. Uh, it's a troll. What kind of troll? An advanced troll. That's literally his name. Is advanced troll. It's an advanced troll. Yeah. I guess that's why he's using it's, crossbows. It's just a. It's a. Essentially, it's just a stronger troll. So it's just like but a giant. Troll. But it's a giant subtype, though. Correct. Yes, it is the giant subtype. Trolls. Trolls nice. do be that. So I get. I get favored enemy for it. That's yes. awesome. Yes, you do. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I can give you one more piece Weaknesses? of information. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. And intelligence. What's its name? You get one of those. So, would you like intelligence or weakness? weakness? Weaknesses? Weaknesses. I can tell you that um, it does not... Like fire. It does not like acid or fire. Oh. Well, acid fire should be pretty good. It has regen abilities, doesn't it? Everyone named Steve. Yeah, does it have a name? Yes, Advanced Troll. No, but does he have a personal name yes advanced troll can i yell what's your name what's your name why's your rush what's your name through the wall 
<laughs> the wall is speaking to him. What's your name? Um, call him AT. Could I? Let's go move. Can I move here? Would he be concealed? Um, yeah, I want you to move five more feet. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. Well, he's not always going to be reloading. I'm going to be up in his face, bro. Well, in that case... Um... Can I sleep me? You going to pull out your bow? You gonna Why in the world would I do that? No, I'm not going to... My 1d6 short bow. <laughs> Get him! You do get plus two to your dex, though. I'm just saying. So a 1d6 short bow? I'll slumber. Let's get this intelligence what, what's, check. What save is this? Will save? Will. How does it tell me it's how, anything? How's a 21 suit you? Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay. Literally everything that can speak somehow as like a plus 15 to will saves I can tell you right now it's will save is actually pretty dookie it's probably say. like a plus 5 trolls are actually it's not very smart is probably like six. it is indeed a plus 5 <laughs> it's intelligence is like 6 and has a plus 5 to will saves I rolled a natty oh, no. 16 does he have to roll to reload no, yes. it's just it's a move action to reload. You don't have to roll to reload, you goob. Can you fumble? No, you can fumble the shot. <laughs> um, OG, you're up. Okay. You've been you've been wildly uh, helpful this combat. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, giant subtype though that makes me really 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 happy. Get in there. Um, really angry from what it sounds of things. I mean, he pissed me off pretty good. <laughs> um, well, that's a favorite enemy, so they, uh, they would get angry because he's like, oh, yeah, I got to kill this thing. Right here? Can I go through there, or do you want me to go, like, down this way and then up this way? Matt, you can get there. It's fine. You just stand in front of Sticker Tricks? So right here? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Stand in front of my magic. And then... Meat shield. I can... Can I technically do shot on the run with that? Or can I still get a shot off? You can still get a shot off. You can pull out your bow as part of the move action, so. Well, I mean, I have quick draw, so it doesn't matter. Okay, but I'm saying you can do that, so. Oh, okay. It's cooler when you're uh, running without your bow. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, hey, you need all the help you can get. So far, you've gotten your head smashed through a door and then have rolled, and that's about it. So you look like a I kindergartner appreciate. doing his uh, fire drill. Cool. I, I appreciate you. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, no you. problem. Um, That's what I'm here for. Is that, is that a crit? Is that a crit threat? I wonder if that... <laughs> I wish it was. Oh, know. my. Because they don't have aspects. I, don't ha I, can't, I mean... He, he needs keen. Oh, yeah, that does yeah, keen, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. You have to precast. Yep. All right. Uh, well, that's surprisingly a hit. Who would have thought? 35. Uh, 10 damage. Plus another 4. Plus another oh, 4. Oh, yeah, right. For your right. favorite enemy. Yep, yep. So. Uh huh. I got you. I got you. Alright, so Gore's going in there now, right? Bite Claw Claw. <laughs> Does he also have favorite no. enemy? Yeah, he gets anything I get. So. Yeah, he does. That's true. He does. <laughs> get him in there. Anything. Uh, Drig, you're up. It cannot take an AOO because it has a bow. Yep, so you're free to get in there. Nice. Yeah, get out of town with that. Get out of town. Not even close. Uh, round four, fittingly, is Cub War. Scott, can you say you went right here just so Kabor can... Kabor can still do it. Fire. You can shoot oh, you magic can. through okay. your teammates. Yep. Cast yep. magic missile. All right. He wants to go for the unstoppable damage. Really no save. I just take it. 
All right, hit me with those. Uh... Got to be honest, that one was much worse than the first one. <laughs> still, it's still yeah. eleven. <laughs> Not as good. Plus three, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's eleven. Actually, it's my still pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's still that's still more than Orox done, really. So. I should probably pull up my spell. Actually, no. I just said I did fourteen. Yeah, but he's hit it twice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I almost ha I, I just half died, and that's all I've done, really. So it's fine. That's okay. Not everyone's helpful. <laughs> um, so it's its turn. It's going to drop its crossbow. And Is that provoked? No, it's a free action, and that allows me to do a full attack action on Dragonia. But doesn't... Oh, just... Okay. I just drop yeah, it. So not, so yeah, picking up would be provoking. So I And then I would have to reload it. And that's way too much time. So I'm just going to drop it and... Probably like it's hot and just go after you. Um, okay. First attack. 25 to hit. That hits. Okay. I didn't hear anything from him, so. Neither did I, but. <laughs> I have to confirm. You never know with you guys. 11 points of damage. Claw number one. Is that a bite? Yes. Oh, I don't think this hits, even though it's... Oh, no, that, that probably hits. Uh, 22. Miss. Miss? Yeah, he has a 23. He has that a 23 is disgusting. Okay, <laughs> third one. That wasn't even that bad of a roll. Yeah, 92, so that's a miss. Okay. Second tricks, you're up. Uh, I... Going to. Hmm. I'll reach into this fireplace behind me, chuck some embers, and then I'll turn into a flaming sphere and just land on them. Okay, I haven't heard this spell in a while. Cool, uh, cool atmosphere. I like that. Well, flaming, what? flaming sphere is a spell, so he's yeah. just adding some flavor to it. Added flavor. Oh. So I need to do a reflex save. Yeah. Okay. How's it just sits save? on him, right? Yeah. Um, I got a 25 reflex save. Probably should do it. I rolled a 19. <laughs> it's still there, though. It is. So I just dodged it for this round, but then I had to start taking burn. I'm going to give you a... Uh, Another meatball. Oh. oh. Meatball. I'm drawing That's balls. A big meatball. Oh. It's a big meatball. You hold, I think if you hold uh, alt, it'll draw a circle. Oh. oh. Meatball. There we go. Perfect. It's even color coded. Okay. Great. Um, OG, you're up. Uh, I'm going to tell Gore to go in. That's right. Eat that meatball. See if he can make it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he can run right here and still now, attack. It's got its claws out, so as soon as it gets within ten feet, if it makes any more movement, that'll provoke. I thought you don't provoke when you step in. Yep. Yeah, the first step in is ten feet away. The sec then the second step in that's two, so then it does get to attack. This is fifteen feet away. Well ten but feet. If he, if he goes here, here, ten feet, and then another five feet to get actually hit it. Yeah, but if he goes here and then takes five feet there, that's fifteen feet from that way. That's it. Huh? You can't do that. There's a door. There's a wall there. You'd have to go up to here and then in. You can't diagonal through a wall. You can sure go through it though. Get him through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a thud on the other side of the wall. Gore is laying on the ground. So if Gore wants to take the uh, tank the AOO, so that way you can get in there. Dude, large creatures are so dumb. Yeah, they suck. Well, this is called Giant Slayer, so I hope you're strapped in. Exciting. Everything's got strength and weaknesses. 
Apparently this thing is not intelligence. It's distance, though. I mean, distance attacks are good on this. Um, well, you're in a house, so. Right, and it's pinned in a corner, so it can't move very fast. Um, I'll have Gore stand right here, because right. that does not provoke, correct? That does not provoke. Okay. The wall's in the way for it, right. too, so. Correct. Goes both ways. Yeah. Uh, and then... And then I can take a full round shot at it still. Yep. So we'll see how this goes. So that's a 26. 28? Uh, minus two. Cause no, because it's minus two because it's a full, it's a um, rapid shot. Yeah. Uh, that's a hit. Okay. Plus, Plus four. four. Yep. Okay. That's a hit. Thirty-two. Does that hit, Josh? <laughs> okay, okay, Andrew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's How's a hit. that medicine taste? Like, like yourself? Uh, twenty-one or another uh, eleven? Sorry. And it falls. Nice. Literally, every time I use flaming sphere, it doesn't do anything. That's why I never use it. It again did nothing. All right, so you guys are out of combat. What do you guys like to do? Uh, can we loot? Sure. Um, do you guys want a perception check? See if there's anything else going on in here? Is there anything else in this room? Nope. 18. Cicatrix just noticed that Gore's in the room. <laughs> He's so small. Okay. Um, yeah, so there we go. Oh, there we go. Somebody over 20. All right, so only Dragonia hears a crying sound coming from directly above her through the floorboards. And it sounds like a child crying. A human child? A humanoid child. So that could These be things are not humanoids, right? No. It could be like an elf dwarf, you know, okay. halfling, things like that. So what would you guys like to do? Do we know where the steps are? Um yeah. Sorry, I should reveal those. Oh. And then if you just slide directly right, I have it perfectly aligned so that way. If you uh, zoom out and just slide over, that's exactly where the stairs are on the other side. They line up perfectly. All right, the sneak and peek. You want to go take a look? Good old sneak uh. and peek. Kind of want to just do one last perception down here. Yeah, who needs to it. save a baby anyways? What do they do? We for don't us? know that. We don't know that because Dragonia is the only one that knows that. Yeah, what are you looking for with this uh, perception check? Because you already uh, failed just... one. So there's no other like enemies or tracks of enemies coming in and out? That'll be a survival check. I'll, I'll do that then. Um, there's multiple sets of tracks in and out, um, but you notice that the tracks kind of kinda different sizes. Yeah, you notice the tracks kind of stop at the staircase. Okay. The big ones, at least. Sigatrix, I think anyone who is in this home ran upstairs because I don't think the animal could get up. Based off of what I see on the floor. Do we want to call out to them? Troll dungeon. I thought you <laughs> ought to know. <laughs> Class. <laughs> do, you, do you want to call out or do you want me just to go up and take a look? Try and see what's going on. 
Uh, uh, not to be uh, uncouth, but some people might not be relieved to see an orc coming upstairs. Oh, I don't disagree. That's why I asked. <laughs> They'd much rather see a cloaked, almost with a giant <laughs> bird face. <laughs> with a giant bird face, yes. That's, yeah, that's that. much better. <laughs> So I, I think we have one face of the party. Is it Hothead? <laughs> it's the flaming oh, guy. <laughs> I have a face. You have a helmet on. You have no I face. I don't think I've ever seen your face. Get off. <laughs> I'm just a beautiful blonde haired. Yeah, I feel girl. like they would feel pretty safe if somebody blonde in hair. full shining armor comes rolling up the steps. You know what I mean? Well, is it shining? What armor are you wearing? Covered in it's dull and purple. Dull and it's gross, dull just and like purple. you. I mean, still, some, seeing somebody in armor coming up, it's like, okay. Oh, yeah, maybe. Like, we got a knight here, you know. Exactly. It's like Shrek. You know, it's a knight. Like, whoa, it's a girl. Yeah. Dragonia, can you go up the stairs and check if anyone else is here? The queen of stealth I'm herself. I feel, I feel it. <laughs> I feel, I'm half dead. I feel like I'm half dead. I feel like I'm half dead. Knock out all the people up there. Kill the whole family. Baby's now permanently deaf. <laughs> Revivify. And the poop. I don't think Revivify's in this game, is it? Revivify? Yeah, it's just... Is that a D and d spell? Yeah, it's just... Are you, are you really pooping, Scott? Life. Uh, I was. What's right next to me? <laughs> What's this? What's what? The oh, the doorway there. Oh, it's yeah, it's by a closet. I mean, you're in the kitchen, so. Pantry. Yep. You want to open it up? No. <laughs> you just straight up opening it. All right, I'm gonna say. Kick straight down up the door. It. Kick down, down the door. Stone eruption. It's just a bunch of food in there. Dry stores. Looks like it's been ransacked pretty bad. Looks like they had meat hanging to, what, to cure. What, what type of food is in there? Uh, not much. It's been ransacked. It's like there's scraps of is like lettuce apple? and flour. A single dead rat. There's no is apples. There apple or anything? Is no. There any, like... Are you afraid of scurvy or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to... Take the take some like food offering upstairs to them. Here's your own food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad idea to have food instead of a sword. I raided your pantry for you. <laughs> they don't have to know that. Raided. I know. It's just making a joke. No, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing tangible that you can bring up there that you'd feel is worthwhile. It's been ransacked pretty bad. <laughs> I'll just go upstairs. Okay, I like the idea, but do it, beauty. Can you, or uh, can you check the stairs for any traps, please? Sure, sure. Oh, he, there is definitely no traps. <laughs> no traps. Um, and Orok slips and hits his head on the on the stairs. <laughs> Twenty-five points of damage. Takes God, one point of one point of non night. non lethal damage. <laughs> two natty ones in one night. That's rough. I'm gonna uh, tell the team. I'm gonna take off my helmet, <gasps> and I'm gonna hand it to Sickatrix. Okay, I'm taking your AC I'm down one point. It. Sweaty. Okay. And I'm gonna tell them that I'll be right back. Can I do a perception check on it? Did Sickatrix's balls just drop? <laughs> Her shining silver hair is just kind of like oh. brustling uh, against her armor as she climbs up. All right, so I'm going to slide you over. Stents motive on me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a regular procession check. I believe she's lying. She's going up to the kill the child. Are you Kabor's mom? <laughs> okay, so as you descend up the steps, you see this huge room and a hallway. Whoa, whoa, where am I? Where did I Slide go? Slide to the right. Where in the void. Slide to the right. Oh, okay. that's way further right than I thought. 
Go zoom out. Well, there's more of the map outside that you guys just didn't check out, so I'd move it even farther over. All right, so you see a huge table, the fireplace again, um, then a long hallway, and there's two doors. Let me do a perception. All right. Um, you still hear that crying, but nothing else. Seems pretty quiet up here. Which direction? Uh, it's no, coming from. I said wait. Downstairs. Oh, sorry. Well, technically he is. He's he's at the bottom oh, of the stairs. Sorry. No, he's at the bottom oh, of the stairs. Sorry. <laughs> I'm too excited. You just like you just you hear like the creaking of the doors as Arctis go up there and you're going into some space. Like, what did I just say? <laughs> is there anything to the south? No doors to the south. It's just those two doors in the hallway. Room ends to the south. Correct. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's two. It looks like there's a, yeah, this is just one big room. And then there's two doors leading south that are probably two rooms. Um, can I do a perception to see which uh, door has the crying behind it? Yep, you just give me a perception check. Um, it sounds like you, pick, you stick your ear against the wall, and it sounds like it's just coming. It's just coming deep in there. So maybe it's coming from the other door. It doesn't sound like it's coming like directly on the other side of the door, the wall that you're at right there. But you don't know exactly where. I don't want one meta game, but you, I think announcing yourself might be beneficial if this is the family. I'm not. I don't know if I'm do it, but. You can knock. Do you think it matters? Like, is the is it just one person crying? It's just one. Yeah, it just sounds like one baby crying. Okay, I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock lightly on the door. Actually, uh, just kidding. Stunning eruption. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so terrifying. Uh, a light knock on the door. Uh, I'm gonna give it like a. A knock on the door and say, "Hello, is anyone in there?" So you wait a couple seconds and it's just silence, except for the crying sounds. I'm gonna knock one more time and say, "the The monster downstairs is no longer. You can come out now." On the other side, you hear housekeeping. You want pillow? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't hear anything. Uh, I'm gonna say, is it? A, I'm gonna ask if it's okay to come in. See it's if I get a response. Still nothing. Check for traps. Oh yeah. I don't think she can check for traps. She just doesn't have the skill set for that. That's a rogue thing. Okay. It's actually a Wendigo mimicking a human voice. Um, can I do? Can I do a sense motive on the crying just to see if it's like a fake cry or if it's a real cry? Yeah, absolutely. That's one doggone upset baby. <laughs> can I? Can I tell like what age it is? Yeah, it's baby age. Like Full blown <laughs> baby. Baby, baby age. Okay, I'm just gonna open the door. You can tell from its crying that it hasn't quite started teething yet, so it's probably under the age of one year old. How's that? Wow. Okay. I'm you're just really your maternal instincts are just on overdrive right now. <laughs> I don't have any kids. You now want a child. All right, you just gonna okay. open the door? Yeah, I'm gonna open it and do a perception. Okay. Behind door number one. Death. <laughs> Nothing. You see a bedroom. The bed is a tangled mess. You see blood on it. And then another doorway down at the end. Do I see the crying? Nope. Maybe it's actually a cult and they were coming for the baby. Okay. Just born I'm baby. go to this door. Okay. Okay. Like Mad gonna, Mad Max. Precisely. I'm gonna I have I'm no gonna water. Knock. I'm gonna knock on the door and say, and ask if it's okay if I can come in, because I don't know if there's anybody else in here besides the baby. 
So you knock. Um, the knock sounds a little bit more percussive this time, and the 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 crying like kind of stops for a quarter second and then gets loud again. Okay, I'm gonna open the door. Okay, so you attempt to open the door and it's stuck. To the other door. Can Take down the door. <laughs> Don't interrupt you. Oh. Yeah, so you twist the handle and it's fine, but the door just won't move. Almost as if there's something blocking it from the other side. Strength check. Would a collapsed roof block a door? Depends. So this other door. What collapsed the roof? Try to open it. Okay. That door Natural. opens up easily. And inside. My perception for that. Inside is sort of like like a, it's like a closet, but they also have like you know, the the chamber pot and. Should we come up there? Just like stand in the. Not to. She said not to. She said wait down there. Well, so I'm it's curious. Just an I'm gonna... empty closet. There's another door. Um. You gonna sneak up there? I'm just gonna walk up there. All right. Um, Dragonia, roll a perception check and Sigatrix roll a stealth check. I mean, I'm not trying to be stealthy. I'm just, this is just to see if she notices you. I'm down for it. This is how you do. This is how I do perception checks against monsters, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So hers is higher, so she does hear that you come up the steps. Okay. You can do that with what you will, um, Dragonia, but you do know. I just wanted to make that clear. I'm going to try to open this door. Okay, so she doesn't care. All right. I do care, but I'm going to... I don't. Save it for later. For yep, you open the door, and inside you see a baby swaddled in a cloth in what looks like a broken bassinet that was filled with hay. I'm just kind of on the ground, um, balling its eyes out, and a giant rock lodged into the into the ground. So, so there's a rock lodged into the second floor? Mm-hmm. So it didn't fall down to the first? No. So it's... it's <coughs> Bless you. So Kabora could literally look up and see it because it's like sticking out through the floorboards on the ground floor. Wow, it's a sturdy a perception. ceiling. Is there anything else in this room that is note? Can I check the bassinet to see if there's anything in there? It's all shattered except for like what the baby's sitting in and nope, the baby's perfectly fine, but there's nothing else in here that you can notice. It's just the baby. Can I it's a mimic. Is the baby still crying? Yes. Can I pick up the baby and do a diplomacy check to try to calm it down? <laughs> I love this. I was going to recommend this. Yeah, absolutely. Baby, please yeah. stop crying. Uh 20. Yes, so you're you're able to soothe the child, and uh, she Looks stops. My she stops crying. Purple eyes, and sees my white hair, and immediately falls in love with me. Uh, can I do a perception check on what type of baby this is? Looks like, like a human baby to you. Okay, so I'm gonna take this baby with me and go downstairs. You guys have now gained a new a new character you're going to have to deal oh with. Oh, my God. And it is a baby. I, What's the baby's baby? I, <laughs> uh, why? I do a perception check <laughs> on this bed to see if there was, like, if the blood is fresh or yeah. if somebody, like, if it's in the shape of, like, a murder wound. or Yeah, anything. sure, sure. Do a heel check for that. Oh, a heel check? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, twenty-five. So tw twenty-four. There's not. You can tell uh, unless, like, unless it was just one, like, one singular person. There's probably not enough blood here for someone to be dead. They probably just got injured. Um, you don't see anything that suggests that someone died here, like the, a, bro a blood pattern that suggests like exsanguination or anything like that. But, uh, there, but there's a chance how, the parents are still alive. How old is the baby? Is that 
You said less than it's one. It's less than a year old because it hasn't started teething yet. But are we talking like fresh born baby? Um, Could that blood be possibly from a birth? No. Good okay. question. I'd s we'll say the baby is anywhere between four and 11 Sweet. months old. Okay. If that needs to be specified, then Lord help us. Jeez. <laughs> At six months, babies develop. <laughs> I used to have to know so that chart, gonna, but I don't remember it. We're going to grab the baby and wait. Okay. So you guys have now gained a new party member, and it is a baby. And as walking out of here, I'm going to sternly tell Sycatrix <laughs> that I asked him to stay down stairs I'm, I'm going to have him put my helmet back on all right so while you two are doing that <laughs> I'll put your helmet on you uh Kabor, are you just hanging out in that hallway over there are you over with are you over with uh nice baby Orok. he's boogieing okay so you go over there all right so Orok, do you want to like yell up there like anything that cicatrix since uh he ran up there or anything like that. I casually sauntered up. I didn't even notice. Looking around, I would say I was still trying to investigate like the floor. Okay. And see if like there was any more tracks or like blood or human bits or anything like that. Okay. Um, I need Kabor and I need. Hey, go back upstairs for a second, Justin. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm scroll out again. Yep. You split split the party. Um. Oh, barely. Split the party. <laughs> you guys are like ten feet apart. <laughs> um. I need Gore and I need Kabor to both roll perception checks because Orok is busy currently. Well, it sounds like we're on the better end of this party split. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> the one that can't talk. That's sees what's going god. on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um. So Kabor's just over hanging out with or you know Orok just like helping him search around and stuff. But you uh start to hear um you start to hear Gore start to growl. And as he does so, I need Kabor to roll a reflex save as a crossbow bolt comes flying at your back. Okay. I never turned off my flaming sphere, by the way. I was just going to let it ride its time out. How much time does it have? It's just one round of level. So seven rounds? Okay. Yeah. I mean, he easily could have just taken five feet step, and I wouldn't have noticed. If that's him shooting. It is indeed him shooting. Okay. You guys need to keep your ears open. <laughs> Hold on, what? It's got regeneration. But he has fire on him. It doesn't kill it. It has to go. It has no, to be. But it stops the regen. It stops the regen. I thought. Yes, it never went to. It never went to negative. It was at zero, and it fell. It knocked itself over. Oh my god! <laughs> it's at exactly zero. So you guys were up there for a while. So the seven seconds were off. It didn't regenerate at all that time. That means it would go to negative seven, um, which is not enough to kill it, and then its regen starts. So yes, it is indeed nice. alive. And Kabor failed his reflex save. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the damage real fast. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Did I have both my rolls there? Yep. Uh, you take eight points of damage, and I need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh, holy. Okay. Can I ask something? Sure. No, never mind. It calculated it. I was going to I was going to say if it, like my point blank, but I, I calculated it into my new specs. We're good. Okay. Disregard. Justin's fireball uh, severely damaged this thing, so its HP is not very high. So this should be a short fight, but it was not executed. It's probably gone by now, right? It's only It'd be 21 seconds. Oh, yeah. It's, it's well, it's, it'd be 7 times 6. I'd be, what, 42 seconds? Oh, I thought each round was only 3 seconds. Each round is 6 seconds. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I always thought it was three. Nope. Six seconds. So ten rounds is one minute. Okay. Um, can I get initiative orders, please? Uh, Skabor, what'd you get? Because you were fastest last time. 17. Um, Sigurdrick, you got 27, right? I got a 27. Okay. Um, OG? Uh, 18. Okay. Drig? She's gonna fight with a baby in her hand? Like, really? Just set it down. So hey, I can cast a magic blessing to make... My sword go up and ranged attack and still do 2d6 plus, like, 8. Don't yep. you have to so. clap your hands together to do that, though? Like... Toss the baby up. <laughs> I was going to say. Up, oh, catch. <laughs> clap, catch. I think babies do okay on the ground. Well, it depends, so it depends on how you lay them down. close my eyes. Face down. No, that's Head the... first. <laughs> You gotta put them on their I backs. Speak the incantation of my of my blessing. Jay, what was your you initiative? Bless by the a way? Baby. Twenty-five. What has that baby ever done for you? Is your initiative seriously plus ten? Yeah. That's nuts. Okay, you're still not as fast as Sigatrix though. Oh yeah, I also get plus one to initiative. So I got a twenty-eight. Great. You're first. You hear this boom, and you hear Kabor go. Wah! Well, I will run down the stairs, hearing as a... I heard an uh. Yep. Hey, you'd I'm also hear the crossbow, too. That down. thing's loud. As you run down the stairs, I'm going to be like, I told you you should have fucking stayed So 20 is right here. Idiot. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, Baby. You can still cast, right? Yeah. That's, at the very, that's like a, you know, like the first step. It's where you take prom pictures at, you know. I will take a prompt picture. All right. What does that prompt picture entail? Um, prompt picture entails. Pull out a short bow. A will save on your end. I don't like those. Nineteen. Seventeen. Natty fourteen. Natty 14. Yep. Dude, saves are so dumb. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you do saver suck spells. That is that's the. What all my spells are. <laughs> that is the witch way, though. <laughs> that's every spell. That's just how the witch do. I don't think I could have shot my short books. I would have had to pull it out. You can pull it out as part of a move action. I thought that was only with the quick draw. Anybody can. Pull out their weapon as part of a move action. So glad you Quick draws for putting uh, away all and this switching. Plus the dexterity to a guy who hasn't used it. Well, we didn't know. Like, And you're going to use it holding that baby how? <laughs> you're going to throw the baby? Ranged weapon? <laughs> Ranged weapon? Give me a plus to my AC. And I wouldn't have got hit for 11 points of damage. A thrown baby does 1d4 points 50. of damage. Calm down. Like... <laughs> Yeah, you got super mad when I got the dex belt, too. What's your obsession with dex? He just wants his AC really high. That's all his he AC's wants. 23. I know. Yeah, mine's 15. If I get hit by one thing, I'm dead. <laughs> Who's the tank of the group? We don't exactly. have Valinar. Tower shield dumbass. <laughs> Blind boy? He died to a centipede anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> All these years later, and we're still making fun of him. He has no idea. Well, he shouldn't have sucked against the centipede. That was pretty sad. <laughs> it was so bad. Pretty sad. <laughs> you right. would not let anybody help him. It's, um, it's Dragonia's turn, so what is she doing? Better chuck that baby. Make use of this dex. Oh, wait. I forgot. I did not have the camera panned. My bad, audience. I think you're going to make it. Can I, can I, where exactly is he on the second floor? Like, where is he underneath? Right below the rock. Yeah. So is the, he really? It, yeah. Essentially. Like, he's like, so I have it exactly scaled. So, like, 15 yeah, feet from the rock. The rock is 
like right here. So the rock is three tiles in on this floor. So the rock, the rock starts right here. So the rock's yeah. right here. I can say it. <laughs> Drop the rock. <laughs> I was going to, but I can't reach it. The rock would exactly miss it. Because the, the top right corner of it, it's three, four in. So we go four in and three. So the very corner of the rock's right here. So that's just barely going to miss it. Well... move there and 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 that's it <laughs> all right thrilling um og you're up mm, i'm gonna ready shot. a uh a healing spell sure full round yep it was gonna Maybe shoot at you but kill him this time core was in the way 32. Yeah, I think that's a hit. Okay. 15. Plus four. Yep. Yep. Next one. Yep, that's a, that's a hit too. Wow, so that's... 16. And it falls. Okay. This time. All right. I think right. Go splash it. Go splash acid on it real quick. <laughs> just keep <laughs> chucking acid at it. I'm not even kidding. It's a zero level it. spell, so he literally can just sit there and shoot acid at just, it. Just shoot an acid at it real quick. One acid's not going to do it. Yeah, you might as well just go up and... You got to bring it to its yeah. negative con to execute it. Poop de grass it. Yep. Shot, so shoot. Uh, arrows can't. I mean, it's laying. It's laying down. It's laying down. Though. He is a flaming scimitar. Just yeah. Let him stab him. Oh, okay. that's that's double work because it's on fire, so it stops the regen, and then it also does damage. He's All right, doing it. Kawar's just gonna hack it up. Just keep chopping at feed it. the baby. Um, is there anything special you want to do this thing? Like decapitate it, cut a limb off. Yell suck, suck right. me. He wants to decap. Yeah, he wants to decapitate it, and says suck, suck me. <laughs> cut, cut the stack off and then burn it in the fireplace. All right, it is. It is dead. It is dead. Dead. All right. Meanwhile, Dragonia is still upstairs with the baby. I'm not taking care of that baby. Oh, there's a door, by the way, right here. There's a little oh. little room right here. Can I go op open and checking it out? You got a vault over this table yeah. that's kind of pop propped up like a, a shield in a gun movie. Okay. Okay, beautiful. I was gonna make you do a climb check, but you would have all passed, so sneak and peek. Okay, yeah. So as you Thumb, like just thunder down from jumping over this uh, <laughs> table. You attempt to do a sneak check, um, and then you open the door. Any traps? Can I check for traps? Oh, you already opened it. Uh oh, it, it's already open. And inside, you see a fire-breathing dragon as it just billows flame upon you. No, it's just a closet. Oh, don't walk on top of me. I want nothing to do with your baby. It wasn't me. Can we check the body of the troll to see if it like has any like human moraine, human remains or anything? Sure. Yeah, we got it. See if there's any human remains. <laughs> Twenty-two. No, it does have that giant. Uh, it's a large, heavy crossbow that it's that clanged on the ground. And you know who it. could use it? Nobody, because it's large. No? The Door. Dragonia could. Oh, yeah, with her hand. Dragonia could use the heavy crossbow if she wanted. I need two hands to do it. I think it's sad that you can hold a two-handed weapon with just the one hand. You can. You can. Essentially, you just like use your other hand to help prop it up. 
Yeah, and then they have to reload it. Yeah, that's true. You do have to reload it. It's got uh, how many bolts? How many shots did I shoot? Two. So it's got 18 bolts left. How much damage does it do? Uh, 2d8. And it crits on a 19 to 20. That's not too bad. Is there anything else you guys would like to do in this house? You now have a baby. <laughs> Excellent. No, I would like to go and like search around the house to see if there is any other like maybe like a shed or something that someone might have hidden while the oh outside lizard thing yeah yeah i'll just reveal everything So there is a stable out back, multiple doorways in, that you could go check out. There's also a tree. Are there, you said there was um, the draggy, like, so I'm assuming it was like the, the club that he had, right? Because he had a club. He did have a club. A, it was it was it was, it was behind the uh, table over there that you leaped over. It was just chilling back there. But you said it was going like up this trail, right? So yeah, so there's drag marks. Yeah, so there's drag marks going like all along this trail essentially. Okay. The club had spikes in it. Would that have caused the that kind of path? Possibly. I'm gonna go now. Are there are there any footprints? <laughs> Like going this way, like Which way? human footprints, human footprints. Um, give me a, give me a survival check. I'm not gonna give you free information. Who do you think I am? I mean, I've rolled like 16 survival checks. Well, I want more. I'm greedy. Okay, 26. Yeah, you see some, you see some human footprints. Okay. Uh, I am gonna like i want to go like slow i don't want to like go at a, a snail's pace but i just want to like yeah you're just cautiously cautiously just kind of check cautiously out. walking i would like to do like perception like watching my surroundings as yeah i'm, I'm gonna i'm just gonna thing. assume with you going slow that your perception scale is high enough that you just would see anything that jumps out and you can get all the way up to the barn and nothing's really striking out to you is anybody going to be with you okay. uh they can. Uh, I'll have Gore with me. Okay. Go ahead and bring him over um, there. Yeah. Fashion a seat uh, for the baby, like on top of Gore. <laughs> that would be. A little saddle. A little saddle. That would yeah. be amazing. <laughs> Give him like, Give him like you guys basket. have to do that. Like we can. Like um, cool. I mean, wasn't. Uh, uh, weren't you like a blacksmith's son or something like that? So you gotta have some carpentry skills. I do. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. If you're a blacksmith, do you have to have carpentry skills? You, I'm just saying you'd be good at designing with your hands. You have something crafting that, skills. You have yeah. crafting skills. You have good hands, So, kid. like, with some yarn and, you know, you can make a – take, like, a shield or something and just strap it onto the back of gore and just – Make sure it has – Why don't you back. go upstairs? Plus, I have, I'm prof I have profession and fishermen, and so I have knots and stuff, too. Yeah, that's true. I think there's good good some, I'll get some pillows and stuff. You can get some leaves, Scott. I heard yeah. you. You can get that hay no. that was upstairs in the bassinet, too. Yeah. Can I sneak and peek, Josh? Is hay good for yeah, babies? You can sneak and peek. That's what it was it's in. It's just like a comfortable thing. Yeah, it was, it's swallowed up. I know. And yeah, it's good for the rest of the Part of the sheets. Well, it was already in it, so. Well, oh. Not my baby. A natural right. one on the perception. Okay, so. You kind of there's no doorways in this front of this barn. Um, all the doors like it's just like open and stable. Um, so you're going through this room first. So you notice. Go ahead. And, the doors are the door inside that's kind of cracked open, so you can kind of see back into the room a little bit. Um, looks like they're, um, based on your just knowledge of survival and stuff that maybe they were had like sheep or something here, but. Maybe horses, maybe both, but nothing's in this room. And I, I'm going to save you some time. 
There's no enemies in here, so I'm going to go ahead and clear it out. So you can just rummage around if you'd like. Okay. Because it's already 10.30, so. <laughs> There's another part I want to get to. Okay, well. I'll just go report back to the group that I did not find anything in the stable. You can still do a perception check in there to see if there's anything hidden in there. I'm just saying there's no enemies. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought you said there's nothing in no. there. All right, I'll just roll that for every, all the rooms. Um, So you really go through everything. Uh, Lots of hay, you know, that, that looks like the back corner had some hay that was maybe used for feed. um, And just some general feed back there too, like, you know, crushed corn or whatever. Um, and you go through, and you do, you do notice um, footprints of the animals. Looks like they've just been like let loose. Um, it's kind of a random scattering, but there's no valuables that you find in the back of the barn. Interesting. So the animals were let loose. Yeah, there's plenty of crafting material back here to uh, build a makeshift. Like bassinet to slap on the back of gore if you'd like to do that though, like there's yarn and sure. wood and hay and all that sure. stuff. Sure. Cloth. I'll make a little saddle for gore. Yeah, you guys have spent a couple hours fasting this uh little carriage thing for. There's nothing in the stable. Nothing of value. There's just crafting material. And there wasn't anything like human footprints in there or yeah but like, nothing like that would kind of give you a hint of what say, happened here it's just kind of a random madness yeah they didn't run away in a certain direction or no not that you can tell okay well i'll just grab the crafting material and go back to the group and fasten the saddle to gore well and have the baby put into it. Okay. This is, this is a new interesting group member here. Gore's going to have to be sitting out for a while now because he's, he's got a baby strapped that's to his a, back. That's okay. Now Andrew has an excuse well. to not use him instead of... How are Gore's maternal instincts? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, can I look in the well? Yeah. Um, it's pretty deep. So uh, you have dark vision, though, right? Yep. Uh, you see, there's a dead human at the bottom of the well. How long does it take for dead bodies to float? Um, I don't know. So there's a dead body at the well. Yep. In the bottom of the at well. The bottom of the well. More than a couple of days, apparently. I mean, if they're floating, like this is pretty recent. So if it's, I don't know if they'd be floating or not instantaneously, because like they're na like human bodies can naturally float. So three or four days to float. Yeah. Okay, so it's underwater. Uh, can I check this tree? Yep. Yeah, so two spiders and a wigga jump out, so <laughs> let's prepare for that fight again. <laughs> no, that's uh it's just a tree. So nothing there's no like footprints going to like the water down here or anything. Nothing nothing that doesn't look like just normal house like day to day household stuff. Okay. The big footprints are just kind of a, just like running in and out of the house and that drag by the drag marks. That troll was from around these parts. Who knows? You didn't ask it. No, it was local. <laughs> of the troll? You could do that. Yeah. I'll even let you do a geography if you, anyone's got that. I got geography. I do not. I that kind of, that kind of give you it. Local. Wow. Oh, yay. Just the Nat One King. So, what was your total? For local? Uh, 16. Yeah, it, it can be native to this area. Um, it's unusual to see it so aggressive lurking around like this, but you guys aren't too far away from um, 
true now. I mean, you are, but like, if you think about it, like region wise, you're not that far away. Like you're mm-hmm. still in Ohio or whatever. Um, and you guys found trolls there. So it's possible. Do they come in pairs? What's their um, living? So this like? one looks like it's more suited for mountain terrain and they tend to, they can tend to be a little bit more like solo. They can be, they're usually in pairs, but they, they can, they're much more right. often found alone. Um, it's just the train's more difficult and things like that. It's just sometimes it's easier to just be by yourself. Was the body in the well, could we tell if it was male or female? Yes. It is a male body. Hmm. Do you have any idea of how we could get him out? I mean, your knowledge engineering could work something out. Okay. All knowledge engineering. How far down was it? Like uh, like thirty feet. Fourteen. Um, you feel like the only way that you could probably get it out easily would be like, essentially to like somehow either scoop underneath the body, which would be almost impossible, or like impale it and like just pull it up like that, or send someone down there. Like tie a rope. We're not around. sending it. We're tie not a rope down around down the waist there. and have them walk down. We're not sending anyone down there. Did we, do. did we see any rope anywhere? Yeah, there's rope in the barn. Can we take a little metal bit off of the club? Just kind of. You want to spear the body? Yeah. With the ballista? Do yeah. Need, let's take the, we can we the take body? the ballista? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think we need it. I mean, Dragonia could theoretically, like. Taking the ballista? Take a blister in the body yeah, and then just... reel it up like a whale. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like such a fish group. in a barrel. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but I'm enjoying this <laughs> immensely. <laughs> there is no reason to get the body. I, I, don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to do this. I'll just, I'd rather follow yeah, the, the, the trail the back. Burial. No, I just would like a to... water burial. The Vikings loved it. Yeah, the, yeah, it's way better than any other burial. What if, they, what if it has something really cool? Like well, we'll, we'll wait another day for it to float to the top. <laughs> It'd be uh, another two to three days. Um, I want to do it. Kabor, are you in? He says He's no. Not... I'll help. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! This is, like, can you just like levitated them, or something? Oh, Who is gonna I levitate? <laughs> I mean, you could just fly down there and p- grab it and fly back up. Could I? Yeah, absolutely. Would I need like a swim check and stuff? The water's not that deep. Sure. I'll spend a minute. All right. You sure you don't want to impale it and <laughs> reel it up like a whale? I mean, I could still take a knife down there and impale it <laughs> if I really want to. I see. It'll release the gas. It'll make it harder. Yeah, so you just kind of have to dive down there and pull it out, but you're tall, so you can you can get in there and pull it up no problem. You have dark vision? No. Low light vision? I do have low light I mean, You can always just dancing lights yourself, too. That's a cantrip, yeah. right? Bop right into the body. <laughs> body starts to glow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you go down there and grab the body and you bring it up. All right, cool. Who wants a body? So, can you just imagine, just like a drenched skull man, like with in these rags, just soaking wet, just comes flying, literally levitating <laughs> out of a well with a dead body. It's like the Grudge. <laughs> Is that the movie? You're like, yeah. Crawls out of the TV. Dripping. That's the ring. So it crawls out of the TV. Can you do? Uh, can you do like a perception on it, Psychotrix? Anybody can. Uh, sure. It's out of the well, so. Dude, Cause of death. Cause of death. That'd be a heal check for cause of death. I'll do a heal check. How about I go on heal? Oh, 19. Okay. Um, so it looks like um, this is an older gentleman. Um, so definitely, definitely not a young gun. Um, it looks like he... Um, 
he got like impaled, like smashed with like a blunt object, like really hard. Like his skull's like just cracked. Like a club? Uh club would do it. Cool. Just right on the top of the noggin. Um could we compare the club with the uh, You guys uh, CSI? With, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can, like if you want to. Is it important? Why are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, like come on. I really just wanted to see if he has any cool items on him. Can we loot yeah, this? Cool items. You can just indeed loot, loot him. Dead body. <laughs> yeah. Loot yeah, him. I want to loot him and then bury him. Okay, so you loot this guy and uh Turns out he's just a poor farmer and doesn't have anything. Nice. Is this his farm? Like, is this? I mean, he's an old guy and there's a baby here, so that doesn't really line up super well. I mean, I guess it could. Uh, we've all seen Game of Thrones, but like, it's an Andy right, Jackson has a living grandkid or something. <laughs> <laughs> let's go down back down the trail where we came. Let's bury him at the tree. Okay. So you guys spend Should an hour burying this guy. Do you have speak I with dead? Speak with dead. Yeah. Do you have it prepped? You can spend an hour to change your spells. I can speak with dead if we want. Yeah, go for it, dude. Okay, I'll cast speak with dead. All right, so I'll, I'll dig a hole as he speaks with dead. <laughs> yeah, so you spend an hour digging, and then. Um, Dragonia is meditating the entire time, and then after the end of her meditation, she's able to change her spells to add in whatever level of a spell you just swap it out. And uh, you cast Speak with Dead. I need to look up exactly how long you get for God. this. I was not prepared. <laughs> One minute per level. So seven, seven minutes? minutes. All right, I'm going to set a timer for seven minutes. And so only you can talk to him, right? Per two. Yeah. One question per two yeah, caster levels. Yeah. So you can only ask him three questions. Okay, okay well, I'm just going to... Let's just do three questions. Let's, that's easier than seven minutes. Let's just do three questions. All right. So he... Uh, you see his spirit kind of come out, you know, like Star Wars style. Um, out and it just kind of floats above his body. And he just stares at all of you. Can we be what what happened here? He takes a deep breath, even though he can't breathe any air. Just kind of sighs. And he's like We were ambushed. A a group of giants came strolling through this land. They've first launched a rock at our at our roof, which tore through it and hit my wife. No, hit my daughter, sorry. Hit my daughter and broke her leg. I was attempting to get everyone in a, a safe position with my son-in-law um, defending the place when they charged in. And I did the best I could to defend, but I am, or I was, he looks kind of somber an old man and there's nothing I can do against multiple giants they take the other one the daughter and son-in-law uh, I was not alive to see what happened to my son-in-law or my daughter or my granddaughter, and he kind of looks around and he sees uh, Gore with the the <laughs> the backpack, the baby Aaron backpack, baby. yeah. And uh, he kind of starts to tear up a bit, and um, he's looking he's looking at this little baby. And uh, hold on, I got uh, the baby's name. I'm gonna motion for Gore to come closer so he can get a better look. Yeah, so he uh, he starts to cry, and uh, he says. Oh, it's it's Abria, and he's just he's just crying, ghost tears. They kind of vanish like tears in rain. 
Scott, can you ask like what where, where a logical place was if they were to escape? There's like, there's where, one question. There's... You only get one question left. So right, choose... but I was just saying like consider asking like if there was like a town or like a camp or a fort that they could have ran to for safe haven. You have a map. It's one of two things. It's either um, they're either on their way to the Mindspin Mountain, which would be my guess. But I was also going to ask him if they're like if there's anything of value in like either in his cabin or in the surrounding areas that he knows about because I think that I mean which one do you think uh I guess like when you say of value, it just sounds like you're trying to loot him. Whereas like if you s phrased it, like if there is something that would help us against the giants or if there's something around this area that would draw the giants to here, like I think that would be more beneficial. Combine them into one. Yeah, you can do that. I'm sorry, sir. I only have a little bit more time left to talk, but do you think that there is anything of value around here that would draw them to this and cause their aggression either in the surrounding area or in in your land? So he's, he's still staring at Aubria, kind of crying tears, and he doesn't break eye contact with her as he talks to you. And he says, no, this, we are just a a poor group. Um, I am one of many farmers around here that also work with a group of like prospectors, miners, things like that in the mines. Um, we belong under a group under the banner of Shinnerman. And uh, we are not a rich folk. We have no things of high value. We barely make enough to get by as a society, but we make do, and we are happy in our peaceful little town. But I do not understand this this whole group of giants coming out of nowhere here. It does not make any sense, and I, I do not understand. There is nothing nearby here that I am aware of that would bring them in. So maybe there's something far more sinister going on. And uh, as, after he's done saying that, he, he wipes away his one last tear and kind of reaches out to uh, to Gore and Aubria. His hand passes through her forehead. And he smiles, and he looks back at um, Dragonia and fades away. Well, I helped us. All right, so I'm killing it. All the time. <laughs> so hey, you guys... I got this whole dog over here, guys. If you uh, need it, <laughs> it's bury this dude. And then let's go. All right, so you guys bury that okay. guy. Give him like a moment of silence. Off we go. And respect. Yep. Off we go. And continue Off down the trail. Please, Orok, have some <laughs> decorum. <laughs> yeah, dude. I threw two pennies on the grave. What else do you want from me? That's safe Three passage pennies. on the river sticks. And no, two is all you need for safe passage on the river sticks. You're fine. Well, aren't there like four rivers? You're funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys continue down, um, traveling. About a half mile or so later, um, you guys see a giants come trundling out. You see another couple houses, and they too have looked like they've been impaled with rocks and just looted and stuff. But most they're mostly like their floor, like the second floors are just like caved into the first floor, and like it's just like remnants. Total remain. destruction. Yeah, like they've been destroyed. Um, and you don't see any survivors. And you guys keep on. Keep on moving down the trail. It's sort of getting to evening time. It's kind of getting dark. You guys are anticipating camping up soon. When you reach a small little village and you see people with torches kind of guarding the trail, like looking out, and uh, 
they see you and yell out from from far away hail identify yourselves greetings we're weary travelers um i am orok and this is my small bear gore and my compatriots and we have just left a small farmhouse and found this young baby um trapped in there with a giant advanced troll so uh beautiful using advanced troll um so uh you get, they're kind of far away like they're they're like 30 feet away from you so you like say that from far away like hey we got a baby don't shoot yep. us essentially yep yep um you see one one of the uh, two guardsmen like whisper into the ear of the other one and he takes off and the other one is like all right you may approach please keep your weapons weapons sheathed at your sides and approach slowly so do you guys advance and keep your weapons sheathed? Yep. Tell yep. me what to do. <laughs> what do I do with my magic? They don't know you're magical. Yeah. So you can just strut on up like, you know, I got nothing on me. It is what cool. it is. I'll fireball. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me what to do. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm <laughs> Didn't realize you were all a bunch of conservatives out here. Um. So you guys... uh get approached by this guy and he kind of like looks to you up and down. He's like, I, you are really travelers. I have not seen you from around these parts. Where do you hail from? And he's just kind of expecting you as he's waiting for your answers, just kind of looking up and down at each of you. We came from true now. So as you say that he gets to the bear and he's like, he kind of jumps back a little bit and he puts his hand on his hilt. Then he sees the, the baby on the back of the bear <laughs> and just looks completely confused. We stole a baby along the way. And uh, he looks at all of you thinking that all of you are men because um, he doesn't know that Dragonia is a woman. He's like, uh, so uh, who's has the barren baby? Stole the baby. I don't know about the bear. You stole a baby? <laughs> yeah. Where did you? Who did you steal it from? I don't know. It's free, isn't it? It's a baby. You just take them. Well, what about their parents? Oh, they're dead. Did you kill the parents? You're asking a lot of questions. Ah, uh, you are strangers, and I must protect my town. <laughs> Where'd your buddy run off to? That is unimportant. Please answer my question. What was the question? Did you kill the parents? No, we did not. We did not kill the parents. They are dead, though. But we didn't kill. Them. Interesting. Where? How long well, have you had? We? Don't do that to me. Where? <laughs> where? Like, how long have you had this baby? Half a uh, mile. Five ten. Five ten. What? Ten. <laughs> Minutes, miles, whatever. <laughs> I said a half a mile. He said there was only a half a mile away. There was another town. Yeah, it was like it's like half a mile to the other broken houses, and then another quarter mile to here. Okay, so, so a mile away. Dude, <laughs> like, so three quarters. We've had of a mile, it only yeah. for. We've only had it for less than a mile, so we have been only been walking for another thirty minutes or so, because times or clocks have been invented. So I know precisely how many minutes. <laughs> but you're a ranger. You can go based on like stars <laughs> yeah, and sunlight. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's night, so stars. Um, the moon moving, and he's uh he's just kind of standing there looking at the baby, and all of a sudden the other guard comes running back, and with him he's brought this elderly woman, and they both come running up, and the other guard, uh, so he's like, "Is it true?" And then the guard you were talking to is like, "It is. I believe. I believe." This is, uh, hold on, what's her name? Aubria. I believe this is Aubria. And the older woman comes running up to the bear and just kind of like doesn't even take heed that this is a giant grizzly bear with a baby strapped on its back. <laughs> and like goes to the baby just and, just, and just starts step crying between as she takes this baby. I'm gonna step, no, no, no. I'm going to step in between her reaching for the baby. Okay. 
Oh no. She looks at you. Oh, come on. Scott. She looks at you with kind of like angry <laughs> eyes. It's like, what do you think you're doing? We stole this baby. baby. It's rightfully ours. This, this is my this is my Go ahead. This baby meant a lot to a gentleman at a at a cabin to the south of here. This baby has now lost its mother and its father to a group of trolls. Who are you? So as soon as you mention the older gentleman, she starts to break down even more. And uh, she's like, oh, Monty. And uh, she starts crying. She's like, that is that is my granddaughter. Please hand her over. I'm sorry to tell you about Monty. He, um, him and I spoke when, when his soul passed. I'm a very religious person, so I am allowed to speak with those who are good and true when their their souls pass to the beyond. Um, he is a uh, he had a proper burial, and. Um, we're glad that we could bring Aubria back to someone who uh, is rightfully of her kin. Do you let her take the baby? Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. hand it to her. Okay, excellent. She's just uh, crying. She says, "Thank you." What did, what did my husband have to say? They were attacked by a group of trolls suddenly, and. He didn't know, he does not know what happened to the, his daughter and his son-in-law um, as he passed before they, before that happened. I, I'm sorry to hear this. He, he, I'm sure he put up a good fight, but alas, we are not the young people we used to be. Uh, I was, I was outside at the barn when they attacked. They came from the road by the river. Just attacked out of nowhere. He yelled out from the window for me to run. And I did. And I feel immense guilt from that. Even now. But I... Well, I, if you would not have run, Aubria would not have anyone to look after. This is true. Um, I was trying to see if she has a special, like, which uh, divine person she follows. Uh, but I don't see one. So well, it's a run ray, then. We'll go, no, I was going to, usually around here it's Ioma Day. So we're going to go with Ioma Day. That's just the, the local, that's why True Now is also Ioma Day. So she, she said, thank I, thanks Ioma Day. That... At least somebody's here. Um, because you brought back my granddaughter, I want you to have this. And she kind of lets down her hair, and she hands you a clasp. Um, it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a brooch. She hands you this. It's like a clasp brooch. Um, it's in the shape of an arrow. And she hands it to you, Dragonia. She says, "Please. This is this is the only thing of value that I've ever owned." And was given to me by my husband and I believe that he would want you to have this now that you have spoken to him for the last time it is a it is a brooch of shielding may it protect you and your future journeys and uh, she takes the baby and starts walk back and walking back to the town center what's the brooch do anything yeah so it's actually pretty sweet. So it's a brooch of shielding. Um, it's worth 1,500 gold pieces. Um, it's a silver clasp used to fasten like a cloak or a cape, but she was using it for her hair. In addition to just clasping things, it can absorb up to 101 points of magic missile damage before it melts and becomes useless. So, anytime you were ever, anytime the wear would ever be hit by a magic missile spell, it would absorb damage up to 101 points total in its lifetime, in which case it would melt and shatter. That's crazy. Yep. So, that is a brooch of shielding. 
and it's one of the few items that can block a magic missile. Yeah, because it's like force damage, right? Yep. But it can absorb it. Well, hopefully, uh, no one we fight along the way has that. Okay, so as you guys are walking by, one of the guards, um, the one that you were talking to earlier, was like, we, we do not have much, but we have an open area that is covered. Um, so like a lean to, you know, it's like, it's wide open area, but they got a bunch of like overhangs for rain. Um, and we are collecting people over there to um, stick together for sleep in case we are attacked once again. Um, we may ask that one of you may contribute to the lookout party. Um, we rotate every few hours or so. Um, so if you would like to contribute, that would be most appreciative as you look like seasoned soldiers and most of us here are just simple farmers or miners. Um, but if, I'd please be feel happy to help you. We appreciate that. Please feel free to find some food if you can. Um, there are some do you, fine... have a healer, do you have a healer by chance? I took quite a few whacks. We we do not. Our, sadly, our healer was uh, was taken. Quite a few of our people were actually taken, dragged out of their homes and sent to places that we do not know where or to understand, probably for food, um, including... Importance. Yeah, so including uh including the the descendant of the uh what this whole Shimmins it's called Shimmins Fortune, it's the town name. Um including the descendant of um the founder named Terum Shinnerman. Um he's part of the council and he has been taken. Um so if uh we could uh we are trying to attempt to form search parties here soon, but we are still trying to account for people who have been lost or sadly killed. Um, as this event just happened within the last day or two. So please uh, rest up as much as you can. Those who can contribute to anything, we will gladly take any help. And uh, we can continue more about this conversation in the morning. When the council will meet, what's remaining of it at least. Very well. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so is there anything you guys would like to do this evening? I know Kabor wants to talk to Orok, so. Okay. All right, so you're going to eat. Troll was so far behind. Yeah, it's like st they're like all staggered. It's weird because like you guys walk a little bit further and that's already been like super destroyed. So clearly something was rolling through. So it's strange, almost as if multiple waves of things are coming in. All right, so Kabord, you uh, you pull Orok to the side here, and uh, you can hold down your push to talk button, and uh, you can discuss this with him. So it's just you two, just kind of off on the side, whereas Sigurd turn push to talk off. Okay, yeah, he's going to be doing a lot. He has a lot of text prepped, and then I'll be anything that's he doesn't have prepared. I'll be filling in. So, yeah, so we'll just say Dragonia and uh, Cicatrix are just kind of out and about um, trying to set things up for you guys. And... Oh, you want to go to another room? Oh, you, you want to go into another room? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Into another room. He wants to go private. Can you move me, Josh? Sure can. Thank you. I Bye. got a puppy on, on me. All right. Can everyone hear me? Yep. Okay. So I guess Justin will hear half this conversation. Um, but uh, Kabor, if you'd like to start. Or Rock, I need to talk to you about the scroll you received from your mother. I need to see it. I think it may contain a clue as to how to reveal the secrets it holds. Do you remember having a brother? He would probably be younger than yourself. You know, Kabor, uh, you may look at it, but 
Just know that I don't remember having any siblings. Maybe I have a half-brother, if that's what you're alluding to. He's prepping his response. He's got to clear out the old one. <laughs> I think you do. Your mother said to whichever my boys is reading this. Also, she closed the scroll with I will miss you too, as in the number two. After talking about my mother missing myself and my brother. This makes me believe you may have a younger brother. The scroll is warped in magic. Your mother said, learn it if you have to, memorize the words, and let them guide you. This sounds like you need to burn the scroll in order to break the magic. You will probably lose the scroll in the process, so the decision will have to be yours and yours alone to make. What do you say to that? That's a. Uh, it's very well thought out, Kabor. I'm surprised you did that much thinking on this. Um, I will say that I thought the two referred to me and my father. She meant boys, as in my father and myself. That's how I interpreted it. But. It does sound like you mean I have a half-brother, like my mother had another life that she needed to get back to. Yeah, so he also mentions something about burning the scroll. So what do you think about that? Uh, I would say I'm rather hesitant to burn it because I feel like I'd lose all the knowledge, potentially. Because it says, memorize the words and burn it if you must. Correct? Yep. Memorize the words, burn it if you have to. Could I copy? Could I have time to like copy like what the runes were? Yeah, you could spend the whole evening copying the scroll, but you'd be losing the original copy. Right, but I mean, as long as I have the words, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, you still have the other letter that's soaked in your father's blood as a keepsake from, you know, from your mom, from your, your mom. But, I mean, think about this. You are losing, like, how would Orok feel about burning his, like, one of his only connections to his mom that he has? He's been holding on to this scroll for how long? Like, 17 years or something crazy? Like. Yeah, I know. Like, that's the only reason why I'm like, I don't know if I should burn it yet. I mean, you could or copy rock. the... Look, Go ahead. I know you don't want to burn the last link to your mother, but I believe you need to burn it in order to reveal the message. Fire is not always destructive. Sometimes it is a means to Anna. A useful tool. Maybe a fire that I can conjure up will work instead of a basic human fire. Those are so lame. Well, Kobor, you have saved my neck more than once, and I think I should trust you on this one. I, if you give me some time, I would like to copy down what was written, and then maybe we can try burning it. All right, so shall we save this, uh, the conclusion to this for like maybe like tomorrow evening or something since it's going to take you a while to copy everything down and you got, you know, the watch and stuff and it's dark so you can't really see very well. Sure. But if you want to spend all night just tirelessly working on it, like in the firelight, you know, get some rest obviously, but essentially just in all your free time instead of talking to people, just work on scribing this thing. Um, you can do that. Get it done as soon as possible. If you guys would like the answer sooner rather than later. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So Kabor can actually help you with the as much as you can with like the lighting, like giving you light and stuff like that. You guys can, in as you guys are working on it, you guys are just kind of discussing theories about what the letter means and 
what you've translated so far and just kind of discussing, you know, what options are available. Because obviously Orok has the knowledge of his mother and Orc kind and all that stuff. And then clearly there's a connection between her and Kabor, at least her mother. Um, and the magic side of things Kabor would obviously be way more familiar with. So you guys just kind of sit and discuss. Um, do you want to tell the others about what's going on or do you guys just want to work on this quietly by yourself and see what happens? Uh, let's just work on it by ourselves and see what happens. Okay. So you guys, uh, it's funny. Um, <laughs> so you guys work tirelessly and are just kind of communicating. I'm going to go jump to the other room real fast. You guys can chit chat if you'd like, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Um, we'll, and then I'll conclude the results of this. All right. Hello, gentlemen. What's up? How you guys doing? Good. All right. So those two, um, you so as you uh, guys are working around stuff, you notice that Kabor and Orok talk for a long time, and then they kind of like walk away a little bit to, like just kind of on the outskirts of the town, and they're just you can see Kabor like make some flame, like light, and is just kind of watching and talking to Orok as he's working on something. You guys can't really see what it is, but they're just kind of talking back and forth constantly and just furiously working on something off in the distance. So you can go inquire what they're doing or you guys can just do your own thing and have them fill it in on, with you later. Um, what would you guys like to do? Well, they went somewhere secluded for a reason. That is true. And think about your characters. Would they care that much? No. I feel like neither one of you would be that. <laughs> You'd be like, whatever. <laughs> I would. No. I don't think your gunny would really care that much either. She's got her own stuff to do. I'm just kind of walking around, surveying everything. Yeah. It, what's Dragonia doing, Scott? She talking to like the guardsman, getting strategy down, because I know that's kind of her, her, her deal. What's she up to? Check on the baby. Okay. So her mom drive is really kicking into over, overdrive. <laughs> So she's uh yeah so she she can go talk to uh the lady she introduces herself by the way um her name is Straya Crown um K R A U M Straya Crown um and then talk to her and figure out the names of the yeah people. so yeah so she is actually yeah she's actually the alder woman which is um it's the name for like one of the council members like so she's like um one of the uh one of the council members so she's a big deal she's an elder. Um, and then her husband was Monty. And then um, the guy, the guard that you talk to, um, he's actually also an alderman. Um, big, burly guy. Um, and his name is uh, Alderman, so it's Alderwoman Straya Crown, and then Alderman Jarek Sneth. Um, and those are the only two members of the council so far that have showed up, at least for right now. So that's why they were, that's why the one guy is like, told the other guy to go run, because um, he knows Straya very well um, and knows her granddaughter and all that stuff. So, yeah, so you guys actually, so, um, Dragonian, I'm going to assume Sicatrix can also, if he wants to, he can talk to some people and he, like, randomly just being like, hey, you know, what are the plans for this, that, and the other thing? Like, not striking up conversation, just getting necessary information. But you know that there's quite a few houses in the area and, uh, all of them are just kind of like you can tell like all the outskirts are all getting just smashed to pieces and people are getting some people are getting taken some are killed and some escape um but you're they're all all the townspeople are really confused about why people are getting kidnapped like that doesn't make sense that normally doesn't happen with giant attacks um usually they just kill people so like why are they why are they kidnapping that's very strange and then missing Terra Shinnerman, the head alderman um, everyone's like really freaking out because he's the last descendant of the original Shinnerman uh, family who established the town in the first place. That's why it's called uh, Shinnerman's Fortune. Um, so um, I know that Cicatrix, you gather that yes. some of the people are uh, wanting to s set up a search party the following day. Um, and you look, 
you look pretty strong and you know they see you wander around and stuff they ask like are you good at like looking for things um things of that nature and that they're they're attempting to maybe set up a search group to go find these people that have been kidnapped um so as you're discussing this with one of the one of the random people you know just kind of just doing your thing mm -hmm. um Jarek, the uh the other alderman comes up to you and suggests to uh to to you that you and the rest of the group, so Kabor, Orak, and Dragonia, um, form your own search party since you know each other so well. Um, he'll give you directions on which direction you guys can go, and if you guys can report back with what your findings are, maybe they can set up attack and help you guys take out whatever camp these giants are at or cave or whatever. Um, so he's kind of wants to like spearhead a, you know, like a logistics thing. Yeah. Um, so he discusses that with you and asks you to mention it to the rest of the group. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to jump back to the other, other guys now. So I'll be back. All right. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. All right. So they had their own little story going on while you guys were gone. I'm so you guys will have to uh, listen in on that later or just ask them. But you guys work furiously for like five hours and you get everything translated to best you can. Orak is super nervous that he didn't like draw everything super perfectly, but Kabor double checks it and like, yeah, you, you did it perfectly. Like he helped him draw it if his hand's too shaky, or whatever. You guys think you got it down. You have two separate pieces. You have one with the translation that you have so far and then one with just the original script. No, um, and I'm sure Orak puts that in a nice case that the one came in and puts it away. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so you guys now have the scroll. It's like two or two in the morning. Um, you just have the scroll and you're just kind of looking at each other. So Orak, what do you want to? Do you want to say anything before? Like, let's do this, or how's this go? I just kind of look over to him, give him a curt nod, and say, let's hope this works. Okay. So Kabor kind of looks at it looks at it with extreme focus, uh, gently snaps his fingers, and it starts to erupt in flames starting from the bottom and just kind of rolls up to the top where Orox holding it. And as it burns... Um, you just kind of see like the flames are just leaping around like this thing really catches flame and the ash kind of builds up in a nice little pile underneath you on the table as it burns up into a final wisp of smoke and you guys just stand there for a second looking at at, the, at this uh, pile of ash and I'm going to stop there you guys are going to have to wait to see what happens I'm going to tell the other group that we're done. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, we are all over. Okay. We just ended it. So is there anything else you guys wanted to say with me before I end this? No. Okay. You hear, uh, you hear, I'll tell you guys one last thing. You guys hear, if you're still awake at like two in the morning. You can see Orok and um, Kabor just like off in the distance, and then all of a sudden they're late. They're, both their faces just kind of light up for a little bit, and then fade to black, and then we'll stop there. <laughs>